But as a musico, eh? yeah. he, he responds to uh, musical cues. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> Must be the stymie in me, because I don't know what a stymie is. Give him the evil eye and he started <laughs> lowering the volume. Is that the stymie? The, the stymie? That was a stymie Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what a stymie is. Fuck, dude, I'm still cajeteando the left and right. I think stymie is when you steal somebody's stymie. You stymie. That's your stymie You just stymie that about You stymie that fool. I just stymie that fool, bro. <laughs> you fucking stole his check, bro. <laughs> <laughs> stole his Biden check. I've been saying that fool's check since the Trump checks. Now I'm stealing his Biden checks. <laughs> <laughs> That's two presidents so I've been stymieing So it's stimmy Not stymie No way It's like stimu- stimulating Stimulus yeah, I, know. I don't know I, I just figured it was like it's The stymie like, It's kind of like Where you grab your balls Where you're a little stimmy <laughs> Give yourself a little stimmy <laughs> Give yourself a little stymie Maybe that's what it is like, Yeah hey, That's when you fucking that's, those, that's when you start Rubbing the terreno man. That's a stymie Y el sartén Terreno Oh shit El or, chicloso Or as some people know it As the PC muscle 
Oh yeah, <laughs> PC muscle. Yeah. Kegels or kegels? Or what do you call it? Yeah. The, um, oh. What is it? It's the perineum. Ah, cabrón. The Ay, perineum wey. muscle. Yeah, yeah. Eso sí te sabes. Yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> I listen. I listen to Estefalas and, and El Jerry talks about that. Yeah. Okay. Right before you're about to fucking tirar mm-hmm. el mm-hmm. pinche, make some deposits. There we go. Like, si te aprietas right on the right button, mm-hmm. you have the sensation, but without the effect. But that's what the PC muscle Yeah, is. that's what. So it's a perineum. So there, there's like people say that you should do reps. Like when you're driving around, like, like it's the do muscle. Reps. like It's a muscle like when you're going to pee and you stop your pee. That one. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's so, the one that puts in the work. So yeah, so if you do reps, like you, you squeeze it and then you hold it for five seconds. If you do 10 reps, like three times a day, um, when you're fucking... Handling your shit And you're about to come You don't have to press it You just You just, hold you just it? push it Like if you're gonna Hold your pee Yeah, tienes practica Yeah Come on, bro Gotta get uh, with the new technology I don't, right? I don't I don't, I don't <laughs> Is that <hey>. new? <laughs> fucking Yo si yo estoy listo I'm just gonna nah, let it go, so, bro oh, all right, I, I, right, do, right, I, I do what right. I do I thought you were gonna say Fucking I need I don't need that shit. I got no, 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 no. I, what I do is like, yeah, it's my own centrado, bien entrado, way. So you gotta slow it down, or like, if you're not like in a little fucking, mm. you know, pinche tirando palo, and it's a good one, and then you're getting close to like, hey, sas que este pa ya, you know, you change it up. Hey, wait, Jesus, I change it up. I'm not. I don't. I mean, I'm not. I don't tell her este pa ya, quítate. No, like, what you just said. No, no, it's just <laughs> figure of speech, yeah, not some literally. Girls, some girls like that. <laughs> is that a, is that a figure of speech? Este pa ya, este pa ya. You know, but in your mind, I'm like, no, no, hold on, let me. Some girls are into that. Yeah, so uh, I know sometimes I, I gotta like slow it down, or because I get too too involved and very excited. It all, so I'm like, okay, no, no, hold on. Vamos a cambiarle. Give me a little. He does that timeout single boy. He has, tea, a, he has a snack tea. break. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me go get some snacks from let me, the kitchen. Let me, let me, let me no, get some wait. walnuts. Hold, hold that thought. Some cranberries, <laughs> dried cranberries. Hold, hold that thought. No, wait, so you know you gotta do that, but no, I mean. The the whole let me go take my black rhino. The, what is the, it? The seven eleven one. The oh, reset shit. button. Está, eso está cabrón, wey, because, uh, está donde está nah, you don't have to. You don't have to press it. Yeah, I'm just saying. So, <laughs> some people do <laughs> it. Yeah. No, but like uh, with your hands, or you just work it. Wey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, now, now that you mentioned about fucking, it's como cuando vas a my, mirar my, my, y quieres <laughs> y te lo aguantas. That's good and shit. My PC muscle has a six pack, bro. <laughs> Ay, wey, Ay, I can train that shit. Wey. You could fucking wash your fucking calzones while you're you done. You could, there, yeah. You could fucking fucking all that, baby. You wipe your ass and start a limpio el papel, baby. Fucking washboard, bro. <laughs> Hablando de fucking squeezing it antes de de well, you know, wanna hold the pee. El otro día I was talking to a compa and he said that uh fucking his wife keeps getting mad at him because siempre siempre deja los calzoncitos manchados, baby. Uh huh. You know, cuando va a mirar, he's like, dude, I shake it, I shake it, I shake it. And I'm like, all right, so when I put them on, tú todavía gota esa madre. Yeah. I'm like, ¿sabes qué? You got to tell your wife que no se encabrone, güey. Because here's the simple thing, güey. Cuando vas a echar gas, güey, you're pumping gas, plop, it pops. Like, oh, yeah, so you know. What do you do? You wiggle the fucking, the holes, right? Yeah. Even when you pull it out, it's still fucking dripping. And this is technology, <laughs> way. Mm-hmm. This is fucking modern technology where, like, it's already censored at a certain time. It stops y todo. And it still fucking drips. So if fucking a machine can't do it, how do they expect you to fucking do it? <laughs> Pero los deja like, like yellow no, stains? No, no. Yeah, like, tiene la gotita de amor, güey. Pero... Know? Yeah, well, I but mean, how I, don't, I, didn't ask them, I didn't ask them if they're white. What is leaving stains, when I don't know if they're white underwear. I don't wear our white underwear. Tiny whitey. Es que sabes que, güey? Es que no has problem, güey. This is, this is my suggestion. All right, all right, all right. Es que he probably wears his un- underwear really tight. So when he takes a piss, they're squeezing his fucking nutsack and all that shit. So, el según se está limpiando, but with that tight ass fucking underwear, Compression. when he releases the pressure, it's when fucking he has a few extra. So tell him to lower his shit all the way to his knees. Way. <laughs> <laughs> That's be weird, way. Hey, bro, you want to take care of your power? It's gonna be worse. Yeah, but I'm like, he's like, dude, he's like, I'm like, hey, wait, I, I mean. Oh, you, you know, también I when I work when I you know because I don't I don't wear underwear. Right? I hate fucking wearing underwear. Yeah. So what what helped me with that way? Because I used to have that problem también way. Because when I would wear pants like the ones Fernando has uh-huh. on, like khakis, I would go take a piss and then I would come out and I had the little fucking meado thing. Yeah, little <laughs> so I'm like, you know what this sucks. Like, but de amor, pero sabes qué, way? I learned. I learned. First of all, I learned to work with it. So I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I got a gotita. And then I would wash my hands and pretend like I had an accident. Yeah. Yeah. I played off too. So so I had a gotita In the fucking In el pinche campeón And then I had like A hand print on my leg Cause you'll say When I was Hey wait It's water right? Relax. It's water Relax wait. Yeah 
But then I was like, oh, fuck, I can't, I can't do that all the time, Wayne. So what I did is, then I started, every time I go pee, even if it's in the urinal, I just would grab a little bit of toilet paper. And then when I finished peeing, I would just clean myself, Wayne. And with a wipe. With, with a fucking, with a, every time I pee, I don't just put it in my fucking pants. And so when I would just get a napkin or a, paper, uh, a toilet paper and I would clean it after I took a piss, then when I would put my pants on, yeah, I'm going to have a fucking stain, Wayne. So, I, and now I just got used to it, Wayne. Now, every time I go fucking pee, I get a little toilet paper or something, and then I just fucking dry myself up really good, way, and I don't deal with that shit, way. You don't know, way. Maybe su compa está fucking manguerudo, way. Probably, way. It's a lot of coil, bro. I didn't ask him. I mean, I didn't ask him if he wears whitey tighties or if he wears the white boxers or the light colored. I didn't. I, I'm, I'm learning not to ask more questions anymore. But Pinches Viejas always, always putting Are out you your insecurities, yeah. or. <laughs> Fucking chicks They're always fucking up With your insecurities right? Yeah, yeah that was, that's the cabron way. Pobrecita way. Now, I mean, now it feels bad Cause he's fucking Staining in the underwear Cabrona Let me see your Fucking underwear <laughs> <laughs> Yeah that turns into A whole different Fucking thing Cause I don't think Like I mean, Oh yeah No no, 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 no. Um, They should have Wired women to like That nasty shit Like we do eh? Porque nos están chingando Porque nos están chingando Que los fucking stains Y que Ah, de eso No, cállese, cabrón Sí, no, no, fuck, dude Quiere fucking equality Está, cabrón Let's do it Oh, shit We deal with all that shit We're wired to fucking um, I don't know I mean, the majority I'm not gonna say everybody But I think the most of the majority Of the guys We're kind of lenient on stuff, right? Well, I think that's how we're wired we, I don't know we, I never I mean, no, certain guys Because I know we've had conversations yeah. About shit And, and even this dude's like, oh, fuck that. So, ah, people are different, way. But, like, um, my chick gets this shit called sugaring, way. That it's, like, kind of waxing, but it's, they use actual sugar. Sugaring? Yeah. It's, okay. it's like, uh, it looks like a caramel. And it's, like, it goes on the hair, and then they pull it out. And it, it leaves it a lot smoother. And apparently, it's better for the skin than fucking hard. It's not as harsh, so it's mm. called sugaring. And she tells me sometimes que the lady complains that uh, chicks come out of the yoga or fucking the gym. They go straight in there and they're fucking. Oh. But no, it's not. Uh, it's like. No, no. I'm to like, us, oh. it's like. No, for us, it's I don't mind it. I don't mind that fucking Oh, I scent. love it. But I'm like, but, oh, man. But but females, is, their beaks are probably more sensitive because it's like. No, but OK, so turn it around. Let's just say that women were wired to fucking saliendo de la chamba, way, que es fucking. Le so, a some women do we- like that, though. Le huelen los huevos y yeah. refregamelo en la cara yeah, y que yeah. la chingada, right? Oh, yeah. wey. <laughs> right? But let's just say <laughs> that. Hold we, on. You know, hold on. Refregamelo en la cara. You guys going to have to hey, see the video part on that. You guys to go on YouTube, man. This is good marketing. Fuck <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are on uh, Spotify or iTunes or any of that shit, yeah, you guys are missing out. YouTube's where it's at. This is how I always imagine. Because you, you did it like you practiced that way. Like, oh. know, you knew the right angle. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Up, <laughs> He's just, worshiping, way, cabrón. I, I, that guy's tall. You're on your knees, way, because you're looking up. He's like right under him, way. Are you on your knees? Está acostado, está acostado. Ah, dale, way. But let's just say they're wired, right? Uh-huh. So, like, Don't you know, suffocate, homie. Tú sales de la chamba. It's a, been a fucking 100 degree, degree day. Fucking, estás todo pinche, little, little moist. Mm-hmm. Y te vas a depilar, way. Mm-hmm. Y el way que te vas a la depilación, like, oh, no mames, way. Fuck, no te pudiste bañar or fucking pasarte un pinche baby wipe or something. I get that. That's why I'm like, oh. But I don't know. I, I wonder I if. I mean, uh, it's turn on. But I wonder if gay guys like that way. I it's can't speak for them. No, but well, that's what I'm saying. That mm-hmm. for the, maybe if it's a straight guy that's shaving or nutsack, he's probably like, ah, that way, pinche cochino. Mm-hmm. But if the guy's gay, what if he li- he's into that? I mean, do gay guys, are they into like fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you think, you think it's like a difference? Because. Uh, to us, the women, like, if they got out of the gym and all that shit, I, I mean, obviously, there's guys that, that do mind that shit, probably. but, like, I wouldn't care. Oh, but, no, me but it fact, turns me on more. But the fact that this lady's like, oh, yeah, this fucking, these chicks are fucking inconsiderate, they come from the gym, because it's like... It's, yeah, but that's just different, no? It's your holiday, way. It, it's not like you're fucking... Oh, yeah, it's not like you're gonna... It's not about oh, being yeah. aroused or not being aroused. It's fucking your holiday, when you're like, fuck, bro. Yeah, maybe. It's like fucking, like, like if... Ramon would go into someone's house where fucking apesta el pinche la casa, you know? Or the dudes out there, if they're listening to this that are massage therapists, or maybe they deal with, with people that come out of gyms too. And, and even stinky, if they're though. massaging them, they still fucking have that. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So. You know what? Some people do have a stronger scent than others, though. So you don't know, maybe. Oh, as they're a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more tolerable, a little more playful. Like, oh, hey. 
Ay, ¿Qué hubo de qué? No. Y hay otros que, hijo de tu madre, vienes, vienes rugiendo. Mm. You know, like some of them, it depends on the diet too. Mm. On the person's diet, you know, yeah. because they might have a little bit of a stronger or a little bit more pungent scent. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I like it, but like, fuck. You que know? según que uh, me gusta el curtido, but nah, not this kind of curtido. You know, this is a little too strong for me. Yeah, I mean, we do communicate a lot with scent. Where I mean, I was reading this thing the other day that they were saying that um, that men fucking we we lower our testosterone with the scent of women's tears. Like we don't smell it, uh -huh. but at a like uh, bio, bio, like in, it's straight into our fucking DNA way. When when a woman cries way, we don't smell the tears, but the tears, the scent that the tears emit lowers our testosterone. And when you when you think about it, it makes sense because you see a woman cry, you get more sensitive about it. Some guys, right? Yeah. But but their scent on their tears are supposed to lower our testosterone to make us more compassionate towards them. Shit. So we communicate a lot with scent, way. We just don't realize well, it. Not was también the, the the sweating thing. I don't know if it's as much now, way. But back in the days, at least when they. Had done studies where it did the same things, the pheromones. Yeah, the pheromones. Women yep. used to prefer the fucking, I guess, que eres trabajador, pues, you know, the fucking, mm -hmm. that must of, of your peste, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> there, of your sweatiness. There would have picked a man. Your the, the scent of your enjundia. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to call it, yeah. Right? Pero pedos que, like, birth control fucks up their, that their pheromones and shit. They're, they're not yeah. able to pick a right partner. It fucks them up. Oh. And it okay. makes sense, bro. Like, yeah. all the fucked up fucking relationships. Fucking 50% of marriages in the divorce. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put hey. that one on birth control. <laughs> I don't well, know. It's, a lot of, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. Which is stupid. Like, these stupid fucking traditions. Like, oh, you can't see the bride before fucking marriage. Just bad luck. Dick. Most marriages in the divorce way. When we're going to give up these stupid fucking... <laughs> I think that tradition came from like arranged weddings right? but or arranged marriages where like, no quieren que la vea antes para que dick. no salga corriendo el cabrón. Like. Obviously, this logic doesn't work, dick. Obviously, these fucking, <laughs> these traditions, que it's bad luck. Oh, dick. The people that are doing it are fucking getting divorced. So. Well, that's yeah, why. but th those people are probably looking at the bread before where they're yeah, sneaking they're like, in. Nah, nah, I don't believe in nah, the stupid they superstitions. Subscribe, they subscribe to that shit, bro. I don't know. I don't believe in... Or maybe they might not see him before the... the the actual wedding but I think it's the whole thing is the superstition of it is bad luck seeing the, the bride in her dress no so let's just say yeah, yeah so ahorita que se toman fotos they post it online or they send it to a friend eventually el compa new age la ve he's all like oh shit no está bonito el vestido que que la chingada ya vi donde donde se va mi feria and you know what I approve type of deal. Yeah, but if I mean, if you're gonna talk about that one superstition, there's a lot of them. Way, yeah. the, the, the white dress way. Yeah. Everybody still wears a white dress way. I'm sure, fucking. It's the calzón that matters. It's gotta yeah. be a different yeah, color. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bitch, you ain't pure. I yeah. used to run at you. So, I used to run into you at bar 107. <laughs> what the fuck? You wearing a white dress? <laughs> so yeah, that, that's know. what I'm saying. Way, like it could be. I don't know. It could be any of them. Way, any, any one of these superstitions. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, bro? I just remember the bar 107. Way. No, it's just. It was oh, well, that, that bar was fun, dude. Well, I remember more recently when you had balls on your head or something. Like, like, uh, oh. <laughs> Este pinche el Rafa fucking tea bagging me. Yeah. Well, that's true too. <laughs> Is that what you learned, dude? I guess maybe it was a, it was one of those traumatic Can moments. Showing you his PC muscle. <laughs> Flex it, bro. <laughs> Flex it. I think that's the uh, uh, también otra uh, fucking. Uh, I think they say that if you ever are in a fucking light detector test and you want to throw it off, every time they ask you a question and you answer, you got to squeeze your ass muscle. Really? And it gives off a, like a, like it gives a reading, like something that like, okay, is your name, is your name Esteban? Uh -huh. And when you answer, you, you say yes and you squeeze the muscle, uh -huh. it shows off like a, like you're lying because they're like, oh, wait a minute. His name is Esteban. Hey, are those available like to the masses, bro? You know, what? like a light detector. I think that would be kind one. of fun where you're at a party. Hey, wait, all right. sit down, Dick. <laughs> sit down, bro. Hey, wait, I see you're salir pinches Hey, maybe we wait. should make one, boy. A fucking. Uh, 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 the Chicano like Shuffle a, Light Detector? Yeah, we're fucking, fucking fun at parties. Dude, the, the, the plane. No, that, that, that's of, just not going to go well. I'm going to tell you right now. Instead wait. of making out, plane spin the bottle, we play this. Wait, fucking. Let, <laughs> let, 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 I don't know if I told the story, wait, but let me tell you how I know that's not going to work out. Right, right. Right. And it was that's much less. Point. That's the point, where <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, this was fun for sure, wait. But for the person this happened to, not so much fun. world burn. No, well, because we used to, uh, we, me and my brother, you know, buy, used to buy little fucking uh, like board games and shit. And there's yeah. like this little party card game that, that uh, like you play 
And then it's kind of like that uh, the <laughs> game that my, my fucking kids play now uh, called Among Us, where, you know, you're, you're little monitos and, <laughs> like... La manga larga. Ay, güey, ajá. que están jugando. El man, ahí viene el manga, güey. Ay, güey. Ahí con la cartera, Ahí viene el manga larga. Is that the guy that teabag Ramon? <laughs> el manga. Ah, cabrón. No. Is that, es primo del COVID o qué, ¿Cómo ha cambiado? We used to have Operation. I know, güey. Like in Scrabble. Toma todo. La pirinuela. Right, güey. Es manga. <laughs> Among us, among us, oh, among us, oh, among us. You guys start oh. on the on the on the joke I before it said finish. Among us. Well, oh. it's because the way you said yeah, it. Yeah, right? you're like a fucking. You know how they have yeah, the trap gonna, artists, we, the mumble we have rappers. A repeat. I'm pretty sure you're in the spectrum. Wave. We can rewind, wait. Fucking, fucking, is a mumble talker. I'm pretty sure there's a pill for that way. I, I don't want you to get on it. Though. Well, no, wait, <laughs> pinche. Let him finish the story. I'm in the mumbles, wait. El pinche de el de cómo se llama de Dick Tracy, remember? Mumbles <laughs> Mumbles I don't finish the story <laughs> What was the story Oh, oh Among Us the Oh no I was saying I was comparing it Because uh, it was a card game uh -huh. Pero like Ponle que están jugando Seis pues De los seis Like you roll a little thing In the beginning To how many are traitors Pues to like Your little missions <laughs> oh, And you play a little game It's just cards But you 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 have to like complete a mission And everybody votes y la ching I think Ramon might have played it. I don't remember if Ramon played it With those ones But fucking There's always One or two Ponle Depending on how many people Are playing like 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 traitors, pues. So they have to, they have to like vote down the mission or like or find a way to subvert the, everything, so the team as a whole loses, pues. Then they win. Nice, right? So fucking when you play that game, we start playing it like at little parties at like my 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 sister's friends and my brother's friends, whatever they come, you know, have a little kickback. Every time salía a pinche couple peleados allí, güey. <laughs> Someone was going home and not getting anywhere. Oh, shit. Because sure. they would be the fucking, one of them would be the traitor and would lie to the other one in the game. Oh. And somehow they'd always, the other one would always be pissed as fuck. Oh, oh yeah, so, so you're a liar then. Oh, oh shit. shit. What so, else have you lied yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. Oh. It would go down that route, way. Hey, that time that you said you went for business and everything, <laughs> and I saw fucking a, a debit card fucking was, transaction for like 500 bucks at Miss <laughs> Debbie's fucking house of fun. They, they sure. would find out that their pareja pues were, were good liars, yeah. and she would hit the fan where oh, you don't need a sure. fucking lie detector test. That's, that's, that's the point, man. We want to we provide entertainment for, for your boy. <laughs> And, and maybe purge <laughs> negative things around we, you. We want to provide entertainment for your boring Thanksgiving dinner with your family, bro. Every every time that game would break someone up with. And then fucking se peleaban. <laughs> se peleaban out chingón. And then you'd be like, uh, so who so who's playing next? <laughs> yeah, they're like, ya no quería no, jugar chales. Nada. You know, so fucking. We, we gotta stop playing with him. Oh, man, but dude, imagínate, we fucking a lie detect, home lie detector test. Yeah, and I'm sure it could happen. Rayó mi pinche carro? I'm well, sure it could happen. Oh, no, why didn't I? Now you're going after for a reason. Yeah, like, no, well, of this course. This guy was saying as a party. No, it's just like a party, man. Like, but this guy wants to know the truth about some like, shit. Like fucking like, you know, just to fucking start start shit, basically, man. <laughs> I think it would be fun, man. A compact, like the size of that fucking mixer, man. Yeah. I'm sure that they, have, they must have something. Man. And fucking, oh, you got to clip it up. It's just remember, around, though. It's been around for a long time. Every time you answer. If they, if they have something, they're not good at marketing, man, because I haven't seen it. So maybe there's still a void in that industry. I don't know. I mean, th there's got to be certain fucking um, little red flags because okay, you got to put on. It, it measures the elect the electro current on your body, right? So you got to put it like on your. That one sounds too modern. But that's just bullshit, way. Let's be honest. The I don't know. This is bullshit, way. It's already proven that it's fucking bullshit, and they still fucking. That's because everybody squeezes their butthole. And you're getting conclusive answers. Go commit a crime. It doesn't know if it works. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck no. Go get your interrogation. A ver si cierto. I mean, you're saying... I'll take a lie detector test right now. Hey, you're saying you got it down. You, you say you got it down, nah, bro. I don't have and it down. Not, That's what I've heard. Did you, you squeeze your His PC up? muscle's not in shape, but his uh, fucking anus? <laughs> he's going. Since it's not in shape, he's going to be fucking squeezing <laughs> it with his hand. It has little six-packs around the, <laughs> the rim. <laughs> around the sin esquina. His, his PC muscle still has baby fat. <laughs> 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 oh, Just that man. neglected I don't muscle. Know, bro. Bro. If you're in the room being interrogated, this they're fucking. Hey, Ramon, you want some snacks? Yeah, I'll take some snacks. And the detective come and he sits down. You're gonna forget to squeeze your ass, right? <laughs> you're, you're gonna be so fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> what you guys getting from? 
Tito's tacos. Oh, la chingada. Fucking throw them away. I mean, you just don't know when you're in this. And then nowadays, bro, like, fuck, it's that cabrón, man. You know, I remember they used to say uh, innocent till proven guilty. Now you're guilty till you're, you're proven, proven innocent. innocent. Yeah. And anybody, where any one of us could get caught up in some shit, where you know? Especially if it's like um, if it's like something that they want to like end already that maybe it's like a high profile thing. Um, you know, they just want to end it so they won't have any fucking backlash. They'll just point it at you and then what? They'll manipulate the fucking evidence. And the fact yeah. there's even times where like the person, they, they accuse you of going to jail, you go to jail and then they fucking hire, they, 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 not hire, they, they arrest the guy that did it and he admits to it and you're still fucking in there. And it's like, dude, you're spending 20, 25 years of your fucking life in prison, man. Shit. <clears throat> Stuck out, don't worry. No, wait, no, I don't want to put myself in a situation like that, way. But si te dicen hey, Ramon, <laughs> this took a turn. <laughs> how much? How, if if you if you fucking if you're giving an option way of, of going to prison for let's say ten years, okay. How much how much money would you do it for? Like, que te digan at the end you're gonna get that fucking lump sum of fucking. How much would you be comfortable for ten years of your life? Never, the limon la never. <laughs> never. <laughs> You're bad, is it? You're bad, um, I mean, nah, that's 10 I can't, years, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't put a price on my freedom. No, mm. I'm not. I wouldn't do it. I'm like, fuck it. Nah. Um, I'd rather spend it with my family. Let's just say in those 10 years, something happens to my parents, something happens to my, 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 my family, my mija, or my sister, or something like and I can't even see them. No, fuck that. Money's not worth it, dude. Mm-hmm. I'd rather spend any time that I can with them than fucking the money. The money comes and goes. But like we are talking about earlier, way it doesn't matter if you're an outstanding fucking citizen. If you're in a bad place and not at the right time, you get caught up on some shit, you go to jail, and then you come out. I mean, I don't think any amount of money would make you fucking comfortable, right? Or be like, all right, that, that was that was good 10 years spent. That was a good <laughs> investment on my return. Even though, uh, not to shit on anybody's job, but even though, you know, I work here in 10 years, mm, but then again, your time is what's valuable, right? Yeah. The, the, like you said, with the family. Because sometimes, you know, it's you think like these people that get all this money, you're like, wait, I mean, I get it, wait, it's a lot of time, but I mean... What would you have done in those ten years? You probably wouldn't have done shit. Probably not. No. I mean, you probably would. I mean, fucking... I'm hopefully that I come out and uh, if I'm in ten years and I come out, I better be fucking ripped. <laughs> right, wait, fucking... Wait, wait, no. They took away the weights. They're, no? they're gonna rip that fucking. Voy a salir con chingo de puntadas in the little. Do you know he's talking about his PC muscle? His yeah, your PC muscle <laughs> gotta be ripped as fuck, bro. I better fucking come out ripped, well read, fucking with at least two books published. Or something well, And then you have Half a million dollars bro Dude I was I Sounds was, like a good time I know right <laughs> Fuck what are you gonna do You're like You work fucking At uh, Costco way You can do it Two years way You fucking you have Ten million way Relax You did good That was a good investment um, There was this This thing I was watching About this, this Apparently like In the 90s way This 21 year old uh, Like white chick From Vegas she fucking robbed one of those Loomis fucking, um, like the ones that, the, that transport money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Loomis? Yeah? Loomis. Loomis, Loomis yeah. yeah. I said Loomis, like the golf. Yeah, like, like Stymie? <laughs> like Stymie? <laughs> uh, anyway. She fucking, she stole $3 million from, from one of those things, wait. And then they were highlighting her story, way about it. And apparently, fucking, it was this dude, way this, this, like, Chicano fucking dude that went to jail in the 60s for, uh, for killing one of those dudes. Uh, robbing him mm-hmm. He went to uh, To jail Life in prison way This okay. guy was already Fucking done In prison way He started writing Poetry He became a fucking Author of poems way And The publishing companies Fucking vouched for him And And They were like Hey this guy is Fucking Gandhi This guy's changed This guy's fucking The man now Yeah So they lobbied for him way A life sentence Was He was released from prison Cause of his poetry way so he was like fucking like they're like he's a changed man, you know he's all about be- writing poems and shit. There's no Chicano dude, he was locked up in the sixties. So in the nineties, he he fucking gets out. He's hanging out at a bar and he sees a little wedita and he, and he sees all the symptoms. Eh, she's probably fucking has daddy issues. She probably fucking this. She probably she he sizes her up. La anyway. Yeah, and he's like ah that kisoya, this one's perfect. Ah, dale. So fucking I'm he sure. takes her back to her his apartment, and starts telling her oh, I'm a poet, this and that. Fucking, they end up doing like like these little fucking um, <clears throat> they end up doing like these little crimes and shit, and um, eventually he's like, hey, you know what? 
you should work at uh you should work at that place like the the lumens and it's okay she barely got her license away she didn't know how to fucking drive and like the first fucking day second day she fucking crashes into some fucking dude because the car was too big for her they, she would fucking drop off the guys in the with the bags and then she would go around the corner and then the guys would come out like where the fuck is she <laughs> like, like she was a fucking she went through the drive through. I got hungry she was, to- she was fucking derpy way she was fucking all over the place but this guy fucking conditioned her to fucking he, he, he stuck in there he's on like, yeah, he's, and then and then he started she didn't know that he was like that that he was like kind of tailoring her to like become like they were going to fucking end up he was grooming her yeah he was too. grooming her yeah so fucking then he started asking her about his routes her routes he started mapping it way and then they fucking they decided to plan this out way and so they they stole 3 million dollars from this fucking place where and, and they fucking they they fled away um they fucking shipped the the, the boxes, uh, the money way in boxes. They say it was fucking heavy, three million dollars of cash. Can you imagine how much fucking weight that is, way? And then they, sh- this is like the nineties. Dig, you could ship a box, les vale madre. Way now it's fucking. I don't know if you could get away with it, but <laughs> but fucking um, she ends up fucking getting pregnant in like fucking Europe somewhere. This way, yeah, I n- never heard of him, way. But but he fucking he was able to get out of prison writing poems, way. I don't know if that happens now. Roses are red, <laughs> Some violets shit. are blue. <laughs> You got this bottle crazy because I'm your fool. I was just surprised that that, right that, the, that the publishing companies fucking um, vouch for They vouch, for yeah, because they, they see a, a sentence. potential. They see a potential. <clears throat> not only that, but it's not, it's an art, you know? It, and I'm not saying it's a dying art, but it's not as uh, it's not as uh, prevalent as it, as it was years ago. Like, fucking right, we're talking really? a century or whatever. Like, if you were a poet, you were respected. Did you keep with the poetry fucking community? Or when? But to get a life sentence <laughs> fucking, like, dismissed? Wait, that's fucking yeah, crazy, bro. Yeah, wrong with uh, Money. Money. These publishing companies have the money. Like, hey, we'll be responsible for him. Yeah. Type of deal. We vouch for him. Look, we got the money. We got this. We'll pay for whatever. Que se debe. Aquí está. Stuck out yeah. Yeah, I mean, Our prison system is flawed, bro. Uh, I know. Imagine me fucking. I go to jail. Like uh, this guy, fucking like a jete on the intro. Fucking said he laughs as his own joke. Nah, <laughs> just keep him in there. At ten years. But that that means shit will finally hit the fan, bro. You can become a and the prison. You in can prison? become a. You can go to work in the work uh, the wood shop wing. Oh, okay. Maybe fucking. pick up welding in there. Mm-hmm. Just just hope that. They didn't listen to that podcast when you're talking shit about cholos without insurance, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> that was at the beginning. That, that was the tip of the iceberg, bro. Like, hey, dip. I still think that if, well, I don't know now. I mean, I, I know there's gangs out there. I just, I can't tell the cholos apart now, or I don't even know who's a cholo. Shit. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You fucking you get a little judgy with sometimes. Like, <laughs> I, I caught myself yesterday, where at fucking Starbucks. Because. I don't. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, no, it's just spit it gonna out, burn, burn himself. Spit right? it out. <clears throat> it's just like you, you say about that with cholos, but I think about it like the fucking cartels. Where like we know, we all know there's paisas in in this fucking country that are under the radar that work for the cartels and that are doing shit. How do you distinguish who's who? Where like you know? And I caught myself yesterday fucking judging some dudes that went into Starbucks. There were like these paisita dudes, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> maybe they were just fucking. Maybe <laughs> wait, but <laughs> I'm like, mm. maybe, maybe maybe they work at a fucking warehouse or some shit. Maybe, but then to me, it's like maybe they own a party <clears throat> supply store. Wait. Maybe, bro. I I'm mean, dando like, see, yes, porta parties, <laughs> jumpers. Well, what 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 fucking validated that they weren't cartel is that they had like a Salvadorian accent, so they tenían centro, estaban hablando como centroamericanos. I'm like, eh, I don't know. If they, well, maybe they could be cartel. So I'm in there waiting for my fucking cold brew, or my nitro cold brew, and I'm like, maybe I don't know. Where. <laughs> but I'm like, what do they look like? We're like, fuck, where? I don't know. So it's like, you can't fuck with these paisitas, but some people might think you could shit on them because they think they. Some people see them as inferior, like. Yeah, and, you, know and whatever, you yeah. can't wait. You don't know who the fuck you're messing with, dude. She you gotta don't. be respectful of everybody, wait. Because nowadays, like you said, you don't know who's a fucking trollo. You don't know who's carrying a gun. You don't know who's fucking yeah. who's a cartel, dude. Especially here in LA, wait. Well, well, you know? I don't know if it, it's just a calmo, wait. But fucking for a while, maybe, maybe not, wait. Maybe it, it's it's so common now, okay. Okay, I fucking don't think about it. But for a while, there felt like fucking. I mean, if you went to the bar and you're fucking gonna throw down, you're like. Do we practice the MMA or, or yeah. no? Let me let me try to 
size this guy up porque yeah. ya no se sabe, güey. Yeah. Because remember for a while, it felt like everybody But was taking their MMA they class. Were, they were yeah. wearing those, what was those shirts or that? Oh, the tap out and the, the tap out and affliction. There was an affliction. affliction, affliction. Yeah. So right away, I'm like, ah, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to, you know, so the platos. When I drink, you know, so the platos. I'm not looking for fights. I'm just fucking, if anything, I just get a little bit louder and funnier. Mm -hmm. well, maybe not funnier, but louder. Annoying. Mm -hmm. No, but I just have fun. Yeah. No, I know that. Hey, you stepped on my fucking creepers, eh? You'll see que there. Que mis huevos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's me right there. <laughs> Fuck you. I do. Oh, I, I don't. It's been a while. I can't say that anymore. Like, yeah. I don't know how I would react if I was drunk, but I know before I would get fucking. Um, <laughs> Think what I was. I mean, I would be upset. <laughs> I would be upset. That, that's one way to put it, I guess. Uh, fuck it. Uh, anything okay. would fucking piss Esteba, me off. Esteban is a Chicano Hulk, güey. Oh, en vez de romperse la camisa, because hey, this is expensive, bro. Or, or you know how hard it took shirt. me to find this one in the thrift store? Let me just take it off. All right. Fuck ah. the shirt, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Se enojó el pinche carito. Puta mm -hmm. man. That sounds like Slowpoke Ramirez or Rodriguez. ¿Cómo se llama ese que ve? Slowpoke Rodriguez? I think so, from the Speeding Gonzalez, right? Yeah, that guy's fucking funny, bro. Slowpoke Rodriguez. <laughs> Se enojó el pinche carito. They tried to cancel uh, Speeding Gonzalez too, nowhere? Yeah. Like the fucking white people, they, they, they yeah, always. Yeah, because that, uh, that new Space Jam, I think, movie is coming out and they got all fucking. But, but white people always fucking try to fucking intervene with shit that has. Nothing to do like when they when Aunt Jemima was canceled, there was black people like, wait, 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 wait. chill. Like, hold the fuck <laughs> up, like, chill. Hold on. Like, hold on. And then, and then I read into it where that the Speedy Gonzalez was the same shit, but the Russell was like, hey, hey, hey chill, chill. Hold on, hold like, on. Like, this, we this, like this, that little fucking <laughs> mouse. Yeah, yeah, like, this is good. Like, hey, relax. You know, we're not like the fucking like his other two compas, Low Fuck Fluffy, Fluffy was the voice for that, yeah. Huh? Yeah, wow. Fluffy fucking that means had some shit. Yeah, to back it up. Shit. But it's like, fuck, me. <laughs> Like some people just take it upon themselves to fight other people's We're like, hey, wait, 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 hold on, we're cool. Yeah. We're cool. Hey, hey, like, don't like, fucking start uh, shit uh, up. Actually, my was racist. And then black people were like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, chill, no. chill, oh, dude. Oh, oh. Chill. <laughs> like, what are you no, doing? Well, the Aunt Jemima thing too was the 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 the, the, the pinche familia pues was the one that was like That's what I'm saying. Right? We're just gonna change it way because you know yeah. we see what it kinda can put out there way. Yeah. But they, they, right away that como he says the white people fucking were talking shit we hey, You're like, take no mames, wait. Speedy Gonzalez is racist. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. <laughs> Hold that thought right there. Hold the fuck oh, up. That man. one too, they're, they're, yeah, they get all into it, wait. Está mm. cabrón, wait. No, wait, there was a fucking... What was it? The, there was another one that they were trying to cancel también. Just everything, wait. I know, and I'm yeah, all everything. like, uh, all right. Well, some of them you do. You do like look at it and like ah, all right, it's a passing un poquito, but it was different times and everybody had a laugh back then. Maybe pe people had a sense of humor, or maybe because it was such a norm, they didn't really see not nothing wrong with it. Now you know, fast forward and when people look back at it, like oh shit, that was fucking racist or that was, you know, fucking that was terrible. How can they say that? All right, I get it. But to start canceling everything now. It's because they, 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 they take it away Because you know You get that little high Probably way You know mm -hmm. fucking Oh shit Look what we accomplished I cancelled Speedy Gonzalez Yeah I cancelled this <laughs> So I was scared I need to find something else What To cancel um, Hey I got a game okay. But I, I get the, it The, the light detector game I mean, it's a There's mm -hmm. a lot of shit to cancel But I mean It's a pasan way It's a pasan Yeah it's a cabrón way No Fuck that But Yeah Fucking It's been a It's been Well Did first you get a new watch or what Oh no it's a new band Oh, sure. It's a new band. What kind of watch I, is that? It's a, it's a Versa 2. It's a Fitbit. So it tells you fucking when you yeah. have an erection or what? It tells you when, <laughs> when your reps are done for your PC muscle? It's like, hey, you got to start squeezing more. Cut on. What do you use that for? Oh, just to keep track of my movements and uh, my sleeping pattern. Really? Track so every it. time you fucking talk your shit, it says you walk 10 miles or what? <laughs> right, no, you, you just walk like 5,000 steps. I know. How's that, how's that accurate, dude? No. Uh, no, no, it just, it, it lets you, like, you gotta, you know, stay active or move. Oh. Uh -huh. So, I, 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 it keeps me, uh, I guess it's like at work. 
sometimes you're you, not that you have downtime, but like if we're working on a in a stationary place, uh-huh. and you know you're doing little reps like this, it doesn't. I don't know if it really counts your movement. It counts like when you're walking because of your heart rate. Mm-hmm. So it goes with your movement and your heart rate. So you can move your hands around a lot, but if your heart rate's not raising or moving, mm-hmm. I don't think it works that way. But what are you doing with the data? Where like what? Are, what are you- I'm just trying to. I, I, what I'm trying to do is like for myself, I'm trying to keep like ten thousand steps, mm-hmm. uh, uh, minimum. So sometimes in my like if I'm like uh, when I get home from work and I'm like at seven thousand steps or whatever I'm like oh shit I need to put in like three more so I'll go and I walk the dog. <laughs> but it, he it, straps it on the dog. I know probably. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it correlates. But it calculates <laughs> it calculates your walking by the way your hand moves or what? I don't know. If they're, it's, they're more advanced now. Yeah. Than the, like the original ones was that that little tempo wing. Mm. But I think now like it, it realizes it's like if you're moving some a lot of them have like GPS now too so it knows and mm. also if you're actually if, moving if you're, if you're like sitting in a spot you're not moving pues obviamente if you're it doesn't count yeah so I, I'll go and I'll take it uh, knows if you're going like this or if it's this way you know yeah or si te la estás chaqueteando your, your phone knows también when your phone has a built chip yeah I, I have I see the health thing it's kind of cool I guess it's just yeah. something happens yeah. with you all your infos there yeah, the, the it health. just it just keep, makes yeah, me the, the accountable. Yeah, the Apple was that little more yeah robust. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it took me like an hour to set it up the other day. <laughs> <laughs> just put on my shirt. It's because that work where it fucking there was a lot of injuries around me that I was like, Jesus Christ, what are they trying to tell me? Some fucking <laughs> it sucks, dude. Talking about the paisitas where like there was this dude at one of the did I did I interrupt anybody? No, you were gonna I say something? Know. Yeah, no, no, you no, were no. gonna say something? Sorry, bro. No, no, I was just uh, with the arm. Uh, just, no, like, you, I you were go- talking about something, and then I mentioned the watch, and it threw you off. I have oh, no fuck. idea. Ah, fuck it. Oh man, that that but no, you were at work in the paisitas. I think yours <laughs> is more interesting than mine. Well, no, it's just um, there was there was this uh, this dude that was fucking working at, at this at this warehouse, and um. They do like fabric way. I'm not sure like I well at this particular location because there's multiple ones, but at this particular locations they make like like the little fucking foam for like dog beds. Like oh, okay. The pillows sponge. and shit. Okay. So it's like this fiber way that like it's a pain in the ass because it gets on the radiator, like it just it just clogs shit where it's like Pelusa. They, and so they use these these machines where that cuts that cut them and um they they have they're like rollers way but they have like like they look like fucking think of like thousands of like little shark teeth like, oh, okay. like just fucking cutting and shit and um and this fucking dude way this 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 one of those fucking boards got stuck in there and this fucking dude put his hand in oh. and fucking cut four four of his fingers <laughs> and left just the thumb and um so he started I wasn't there way I went uh, a couple of days after but he started screaming and you know trabajan muchas muchachas way you know so they were fucking yelling and then the dude that I talked to and this pretty cool dude named Luis where he's from Nicaragua he's fucking funny way I love that dude um he fucking was the first one to try to help him and the guy was like my hand this and that so I mean these dudes don't have papers dick yeah like these people are undocumented like now you're fucking 22 years old. You don't have papers. You're missing fucking four fingers. Like, what do you do, wait? Well, like, what do you do at that point, dude? And then the companies, you know, these guys aren't going to lawyer up, way. And the companies, as soon as that happened, before OSHA came in, they started fucking fixing shit and they started working on the machine to make it seem like like it they was his fault. Guards always working. Yeah, like this guy. I don't know. No, there's probably like guards and shit that they yeah, shit like off them. But I'm like, dude, this fucking dude. I mean, I, I was just thinking as far as, like, the undocumented part of it. Like, what do you do, eh? Who's going to fucking hire you like that? Yeah, porque ahora no tienes papeles and you're missing fucking... You, yeah, you're missing... So you go fingers, back to your right? país. I don't know if it was Mexican or Central American or whatever, but you go back to your país and you just have a fucking dumb on one hand? Yeah, está cabrón, güey. It, it sucks, bro, because they, they don't have the resources that, that a lot of us take for granted. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, man. I was, I'm, I'm looking at this And I'm like Oh shit sure. How What would you do I don't know <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, wait, I, I could be a professional Thumb Like give thumbs up yeah, Thumbs up dude <laughs> <laughs> like, You need a thumbs up For your or, podcast or, or, I got you Hey I could be a hitch Like a, hey, I could hitchhike hey, for hey, you So your Facebook And like <laughs> I'm the hand model for Facebook. Yeah, so you like. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Arale, hey, can can keep a can keep a man a man on one right there. And then like uh, chiculeros. <laughs> my nuts are. No, it's just I kept looking at it, and no matter how I look at it, I'm like, it looks like I'm giving thumb. Like I could be the thumbs up or thumbs down guy. It's like a wrong way. You know. 
and fucking a few days after that, my my uh, we we got this dude that's working with us. He's been working this for over like a year now, and I known this guy from since I was working at the airport. Um, yesterday way fucking we were working on a unit way, and um, there's this bracket that holds the propane tank, but this one's a little different because it was a big. It's a big fucking unit way. It's got like a, it's got like a clamp in the front that. There's these huge there's this place that makes cardboard boxes, right? Which is a fucking these guys are so busy with because of the internet. Yeah. The cardboard boxes fucking companies, dude. Fuck, they're making shit that I'm wanting. So this thing picks up like these these huge fucking rolls, rolls. Right? I'm talking about huge, bro. Like rolls of fucking cardboard. And so these are bigger units. So the propane tank, usually on like regular ones, you just kind of push it out and then you take it out but this one you push it out and it's got a it's got a shock that brings it down so it goes down so on the heavy, side because it's it's a longer propane tank so they make it easier for you to load it up and so we took the back part out which is the ca- counterweight where most of the weights at we took it out and then so queda that 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 bracket where the propane tank was like loose mm-hmm. <clears throat> so i changed the radiator on it and i was gonna test it out before i put everything on that way, if it's leaking, I don't have to take it back off because it's a fucking pain and I have to take it off. And so I, I left them with the bracket and then I went to go get some tools and then I heard him fucking screaming. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'd go back and somehow his hand was caught in the bracket. Like the shock, uh, the shock is like, it's it's pretty strong. It's a pretty strong little shock. Like to put it in place, no? Yeah, because it retracts up and then it snaps on place. So somehow he was grabbing it and it snapped and it got his hand caught. So I go back and I'm I'm at any time that I grab the bracket it hurts. Shit. And he's screaming and he's like trying to tell me that it, he he's trying to explain to me like but he he can't wait like, like he can't cuz he's Through fucking his hands there. Anything I touch the fucking bracket hurts. I'm like what the fuck? Like what shit. And so I try to fucking like like get his hand out of the bracket and I couldn't, dick. And so it was those moments where you have to like I don't know if you guys ever been in that situation when when somebody's like hurting and they depend on you to save them and so you have to stay fucking like you gotta calm, keep yeah relax. you gotta keep your cool you gotta like assess the situation yeah and you like your mind is working like in fucking ten thousand different d- directions all right you're like okay this guy's fucking clearly hurt right now like I have to help him I don't know how to help him but I need to relax because if I start panicking with him then it's just it's just gonna be done with so. I, I started like and everything happens in seconds way but I I analyzed what was going on and I saw where it was at and then I don't know how I but I pulled the fucking bracket off and, and his hand was fucking um he, he fucking fell to the floor like wait no uh, yeah you know like a couple yeah, days yeah, this later like, yeah wait no mames wait we took like an hour wait really wait en el suelo wait no estás mamón wait estaba revolcando como pinche Neymar estás buscando carta o que pedo I took him to the clinic I first took him to Kaiser way in fucking five five hours wait you'll be and I'm like nah wait vamos a un pinche clinic wait fuck that <laughs> I took a, I got time to I, save your fucking hand, wait. Oh I'm a la, a la segunda que está ya. <laughs> I, I know a guy at a pet shop. Dick, it was five o'clock, man. I want to go home, dick. It's the way it's fucking rolling on the floor. I'm not, I'm not an overtime, way. I still oh, got to go gotta, back and finish that unit. I got to limpiar la sangre que dejaste. I got to go back. So we go to Kaiser, and then the lady fucking is like, Oh, it's gonna be about four or five hours because we're really busy. But we'll check him in. So, <laughs> so no, no, man. I'm like, all right, we'll check him in. Fuck it. So he got checked in. <laughs> he salió with a fancy fucking ice ice pack. I was like, hey, wait, vamos a la clinic. Wait, yeah. We got the ice pack here. Let's go away. Yeah, vamos. <laughs> so I took him to this little clinic. Yeah, you know that way. But you know all that that workers comp shit. Wait, little, little was like, how did it happen? Because it was at work. So I get there. They're protecting the employees. Wait, but um, it just happened like. Fucking the same week where it was like hands, like the hands, and I, and I fucking take care of my hands so much because of the guitar and shit. Yeah. And it did kind of make me think, like, fuck, do you remember? Me, I gotta, I gotta be a little bit more careful. Man. Stuck out all in. Like we were talking about before, we con as soon as que te confías, we. Yeah. Te descuidas. That's when shit happens, we. Um, oh fuck. Stuck a bronze. But yeah, some of these fucking paisitas were in these warehouses where fuck them. I feel bad for them, bro. You don't gotta go that far. I got me amigo nine and a half. 
Yeah. On 9.9. Nine, nine and three quarters. <laughs> I'm nine and three quarters. The last quarter of like un cachito. Che, un cachito bro. del dedo, güey. Imagínate, imagínate cuatro, güey. Cuatro y en el. De un chingazo, güey. Yeah. Fuck, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know how. It, I mean, eventually you. I mean, we we'll find a way. I mean, you figure it out. Okay, I got my thumb. All right, I can still text. You know. So we're gonna be a phone sex <laughs> operator. I can still text. Phone text operator. I could, you know, fucking. At least I got something to scratch or, or whatever. Like, yeah. Fucking Paul, I could open up my sodas. Uh, yeah, you're such an American way. That's what I mean. <laughs> you have options, but somebody that doesn't have fucking. Oh no no no! I'm just. I mean, I mean I'm not thinking about the. Papers type of deal, but like thinking like fuck, me, we don't have a lot of money, we or like all this. I'm like, I don't know how I would fucking do it. I can I can wrong wrongfully go to prison, bro. Yeah, <laughs> come back with the chicasito and tell me would I be wearing a glove because I'm fucking self conscious about it? Or would I be like fucking folding my? You hand would hide like, it. Yeah, you would hide it. Yeah, I, I don't know. know if I would fold it or I would have one longer sleeve and shit. Hey, wait. And no, I'd be yeah, always yeah. like, hey, cute, look at that. That looks even weirder, way. <laughs> It's drawing right? attention, way. No, you you would hide it, way. I, I mean, think I would. Yeah, people hide it. That's, um, yeah, that's, that's that's some crazy shit. My mom has a friend that she her hand she only has like like two fingers, way. It's like I don't I don't know if she, it's an accident or she was just fucking born like that. Way. I never asked her. I've known her since I was a kid, but she always wears like I guess they're called like shawls. Yeah, she always wears a shawl and like. And her hands are always covered. I mean, it's insecurities, where like you don't feel. You know what? It's funny because I have a relative like that. I mean, she always. I always remember her when I was little. Que siempre traía un reboso, like a, a shot, and she always had it over his hat, over her hand. And I never, I never knew until like I was like a teenager mm-hmm. when and the other. Piche, piche Ramon, nunca me quiero saludar. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking rude. I, I got a high five, and she I doesn't high five me. I think it's her left hand, so it's uh, not a big deal, you know. Yeah. But I think uh, one day I got curious, so I asked. My mom, I'm like, hey, what's up with uh, so and so? No, me quieres saludar, le doy fuego. No le caigo bien, o qué? ¿A qué pesto huevo? ¿Qué la chingada, you know? And she's all like, no, I'm like, why does she always? I mean, she never wants to play hot she, hands with me. Even in the summer, she always had this rebozo. Like they were colorful. It was never the same one. She she accessorized or, or accessorizes. You know, like it's one of the things that it's part of her wardrobe. Mm-hmm. But it looks weird because not the none of the other. Ladies or tias or primas or seños or whatever wear it but her. And so I think I was in my teenage years when I asked my mom, I'm like, hey, what's up with her? What's what's her deal? Yeah. You know, what cu- cu- is a pinch pay? What's her, her, her gimmick? I weigh her gimmick. I know, right? Thing? And then she tells me, no, it's because she's missing the hand. Mm. I'm like, she's missing the fist. The hand, I'm like, what the fuck? How? Apparently, when she was a baby, yeah, it's in el pinche rancho, fucking, la, la mom y el papá se van a trabajar y whatever. So I era una niña. And I don't know if she was a toddler or still in a, like in a fucking cuna, or whatever. But apparently, a pig ate her fucking hand, way. Oh shit! Yeah, le comió la manita, way. That's crazy, yeah. man. I'm all like, yeah, me salió me salió lo culero y qué le hicieron al porco, le hicieron barba, le hicieron carnitas. That was, that was my next question. Fuck, we're gonna go to hell, way. First of all. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if a, if a pig, assholes, if, if a pig, no, but seriously though, if a pig ate her hand, wait, I mean, you want to throw a celebration party when she survived after the fucking hospital, right? So do you cook the pig and feed people with a pig that fucking caused the problem? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I feel like that's some kind of fucking stressful fucking rancho that's fucking poetic justice, right there. Like, okay. <laughs> That's that's rancho justice. I feel like I feel like that requires a, a council. Like you have to have a meeting for that. Like, hey, uh, just hear me out, guys. Okay, Masa <laughs> del hospital. We gotta celebrate. Hey. She survived. Hey. Do do we cook the pig that ate the hen and fucking feast, or or we let it go to waste? A ver, tú Leonilas, tú te encargas de la banda. Or is that about the living? Because I don't know. Tampoco that doesn't sound right. Tú te adora. Te agarras, te agarras un post, o te agarras la 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 sami para que decoren. A ver, ¿quién se va a cargar de la comida? 
comida. ¿no? Yeah. ¿Qué hacemos con...? ¿Usamos el porquito? O... <risa> ya están apartando los parts. Si no lo van a usar, <risa> ah, yo, yo aparto el, la <risa> piernita. <risa> podemos hacer un pozole, podemos hacer una, unas, unos cueritos como para botana. Uh, I mean, seriously, let's, let's really... I mean, would you cook the pig? <risa> would you make a food? <risa> También, like, celebrate? like, he, that, it sounds fucked up, but do you, do you let it live, you know? Like, yeah, like, so, well, it's your kid, and it, then, ate your, it ate your kid's hand. Now, ya yeah, you invested on this pig. It's like, yeah. este puerco te vale unos fucking, unos, unos, unos tres mil pesos, or... Hey, but what if this pig was being fucking tailored to yeah. be fed at her quinceañera? Probably. Oh, I mean, and, and, and she he fucking ate her hand before, so do Dude, you... I mean, do you cook the meal early because you got to celebrate her coming out of the hospital? Or like, how does that work? Ah, shit. Like, you can't... You, you can't really left that... You can't really live... Your, live? No, it's como the, the... You can't let it live, right? Like, like a fucking... When the animals attack the... the yeah. People and shit that they're yeah. like, hey, bro, it's dangerous now. This guy's tainted. We can't have yeah. them reproduce because that bloodline is tainted. Yeah, yeah. They're vicious. Pues, van a salir como piranhas, pues, y, y no lo quieres desperdiciar, güey. So... so what do you do? You cook it? You celebrate? Oh, y lo matas y lo vendes, güey. Mm, fuck, man. It, it's lo like when you sell a haunted lo... house, güey. Yeah. <laughs> you don't tell you the next thing. I know. There's, there's not, <laughs> hey, don't tell hey, them. Hey, I need that Carfax for that pig. <laughs> <laughs> The pig facts. <laughs> a ver, a ver, a ver. Hey, this guy, has he been an offender bender? <laughs> Is this guy... <laughs> clean record? Clean title? <laughs> Does have a clean title, this pig? Tiene sus vacunas. ¿Cómo cómo está el chiquero donde dormía? A ver, ok. Do you, do you live a, a comfortable free-range life? Do you ever attack anybody? <laughs> no, do they need that... any extremities, any limbs? Or... Hey, is there any fucking police reports on this pig that I'm about to eat? He's you know? got warrants. <laughs> Asaltó a las gallinas o, o a los chivos, ¿no? Ok. Pig for sale. Pig for sale. Savage, salvage title. Yeah, is it salvage or... Uh, salvage it, title. Clean title. Do you need to smog this fucking pig? Because uh, uh, I'm down, but I don't know about the history. How, how's the license? Is it fucking up to date or what? A ver, espérate, espérate. ¿A cuánto? I'm down. ¿Cuánto, cuánto quieres por él? ¿Cinco mil pesos? No, güey. Nah, 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 I checked the, nah, I checked nah. the report, bro. Yeah, <laughs> con los vecinos, güey. Yeah. <laughs> la pinche mula le metió una pataza como tres yeah. semanas, güey. Está todo tiernito. No, 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 güey. Le tienes que bajar. Está todo mayugado el pinche puerco, güey. The, the, the cheese may reach my pueblo, güey. I know what happened. Yeah. Ay, por, por ahí dicen las malas lenguas que se comió la mano de la niña, güey. Por ahí dicen no? que si lo abro el pinche puerco, voy a encontrar una mano con un pinche anillo. ¿Qué <laughs> una esclava. Ay, güey. Se comió la mano right. con Esclava, I, I need the full report, bro. We're fucking assholes, bro. Give me the report. <laughs> What's this fucking pig's bin number? Let me, let me scan this fucker. <laughs> I need this. I need it, wey, because you know we got a party coming este up. This pinche porco tiene bando, wey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. You know what? I would cook the shit out of that pig. Pinche <laughs> carrozaria está bien desvielada, wey. Why are you gonna let the pig go away, dude? I'm gonna cook the shit out of that pig. Y la voy a invitar para que no se aguste. Hey, <laughs> Un platito, no a party, ¿Le gusta la salada de macarón o no? Mi señora sabe hacer una ambrosia bien chingona. Ay, güey, quiero unos pinches, unas tortitas de presquero. Qué pedo. Aquí va a salir recalentado el pinche puerco. Hey, you gotta cook it, dick. I mean, that's not like a good way, bro. My, my vote is my vote is we feast we feast cause you wanna celebrate her recovery way. cause you know it could have been infected way. you know they could have fucking taken the whole arm habla la Jeremías él sabe preparar los porcos a toda madre no le deja pelos en el cuerito por bar uñas uñas imagine way. Assholes, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you gotta cook that fucking pig, bro. You cook that shit. You fucking feast. No, <laughs> no? <laughs> no you cook it. <laughs> you cook it. Man. You fucking cook. That's the other one. No, no, no. Hey, if you're fucking uh, that that vegan douchebag in the crowd, and I and I offer you a brisket fucking sandwich, bro, you're not gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna forget about the Carfax history of that shit. You're gonna all that shit goes out the window, bro. At that point, salvage title doesn't matter. Si te, si te chingas dos los tortitos de lomo, güey. Y una de y una de pierna para que no digan. You know what this means to me? 
Ay, güey. <risa> you know what this fucking sandwich is mean to me, güey. Claro, güey. Creo que, güey, no lo creo, güey. Luego, ¿cómo, pues, ¿cómo vas a despreciar el pan? La abuelita toda la mañana madrugó. Pero la niña no tiene mano. Sí, pero... pero... A ver, ¿qué estaba haciendo la niña cerca del puerquito? Oh, you fucking... You turned oh, the tails, shit, bro. Wey. That's typical machista oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right in Mexico, eh. Oh, yeah, hey, shit. Hey, but why was she wearing yeah, that? Hey, but why was she dressed like that, though? Why was she dressed like that, though? Why, why, why did she get to get drunk, though? Why was she wearing that shirt? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, let's let's look at the facts, guys. No mames, güey. You know, went to Ramon, güey. Where you going, dude? He's out. Hey, no, I got pictures drops, güey. I'm gonna press my perennium. Yeah, fucking. Right way. Fuck, bro. You gotta leave, bro. I know. It's fucking. That was too much for him, bro. Stepped out. It's too heavy. Hey, wait. Me corto the wheel if this guy's not going to North Gate and grabbing some carnitas after this. <laughs> Una torta de lomo, wey. <laughs> Se le va a tocar un pinche porquito. <laughs> you just stop at fucking Lucille's for some ribs, bro. Fuck, that sounds good, wey. Unas costillitas, wey. I mean, it's Mexico, way. Uh, allá, pues, los animales, they're, they're uh, livestock, basically. It's I mean. money, bro. Yeah, it's money or it's food, right? I yeah. mean, you're going to sell it or you're going to eat from it. So I don't see them letting no, no that pig. I don't, I don't see them letting that pig go to waste, way. Yeah, you're not wrong, way. Yeah, I'm stuck out on, way. You're not wrong. It's not like there's drive throughs all over the fucking place in the rancho, way. <laughs> you know? Okay, <For> <laughs> you have options and shit. Pobrecito, güey. Pobrecito. Es otro pedo, güey. I mean, there's, these people... And these people, and then you think about it, way they're the ones that are that are supposed to like live and survive in a city, way coming from a rancho in Mexico. I mean, I've, I could, I could think that it's, or I feel like it's overwhelming and just come here and everything must be so different, you know. Well, does está cabrón, güey. I mean, even even if you're from a city, way even just moving, way mm -hmm. just think about moving, way. Yeah, we, I mean, we've moved from here, like within the city, way. But even imagine going like you moving a state over way. Yeah. And then it's, it's not even that way. They're literally not going states or fucking country way. You know, where everything is different. You know. I think it. I think it happens because you you try to find that city in another city, and then you you just it's not going to work way. What do you mean? Like the city, the city has a vibe. Like LA is LA way. If we move to like, let's say we got the compa way, el pinche Ramon, the, the the guy that works at NASA way. Moved to Maryland, and you know we shoot the shit sometimes, and he misses LA way. Like it's just it's hard to fucking adjust to. That's what I'm saying, yeah. But some of it, I feel like, because you're trying to find LA in another city, and it's like that's not how it's gonna work. You have to like, it, this, every city has its own vibe and its own shit. But we try to find what we think is comfortable and what we know is comfortable. We try to find that in other cities, and then it's really hard for us. We're like we're not we're, we're not gonna be able to adjust. And obviously we. We're going to do that way because, I mean, if you're used to being like we're being in L.A. for fucking our whole lives and then we move out of state. I mean, we're obviously going to try to find L.A. in another place and it's not going to work. And we're going to be like, ah, oh, fuck, this place fucking sucks. You're going to be looking for the, those same tacos, way. Then, then you're it's not, not going to find them. Yeah. Or even the, the, the crowd, way. it's going to be hard to find your, your, your circle. Like, how do you like, I don't know how to make friends, dig. Like, no. How do you make friends? Dude? Like, I don't know. Like, do you text every fucking day? Like, it's just, it's some of those things that you just kind of go through life and you figure it out. But, you know, like, nobody teaches you shit, you know? Like, nobody teaches you how to fucking <clears throat> find a circle in a new place. Like, how, how would you find a circle in a new place? Like, you would go to a fucking bar? You would go to how? Uh, look, I, it's, it's hard for me to break it down, but, and I'm not going to say it's easy for me, but. Normally, anywhere that I go, I'm not going to say I make friends, but I, I stand out, you know, I'll, I'll, Hi, I'll stand out and it's easy for me to start a conversation and just lead to like, hey, so I'm new here. Where's the, que, que recomiendan? Mm -hmm. You want names and addresses? <laughs> <laughs> que recomiendan? Like, hey, I, I'm feeling like tacos. What do you recommend around here? Oh, yeah, for tacos over here. But I mean, you got to look, you know, you got to look at the source, you know, I'm going to ask a paisa for tacos. If I want some Oriental stuff or some Asian stuff, oh, I know. Sorry, me salió mal. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Can you bleep that? No, fuck it. <laughs> but like some some Asian food or whatever, I'll go to the source. I'm not going to fucking ask a paisa. They'll send me like, oh, yeah, over here. Que la chinga. No. But there's layers to it. There's layers. Like I wouldn't ask a Korean where I get some good sushi. Yeah. It's like, mm. uh, to the outside, ah, but son, it's the same. No, nah, they're not the same. Dude. It's the difference. <laughs> yeah. 
But even though they might know, they but, might know, like like we know, like if somebody asks you, like, hey, where can you get some good pupusas? You're going to know mm-hmm. where good pupusas are. So, Look, I know this place, my, my you yeah. know, I, I, it's been vetted by fucking Salvadorians. They like it. Yeah. You know? how, how does weight factor in? Are you going to ask the skinny dude where the good tacos are at? Because <laughs> that's, that's also, that's no. also, that's also adds to it, though. Hey, wait, uh, don't recommend una cochinita pibil, wey? Yeah, I mean, doesn't that add to it, también, wey? Because usually yeah. a gordito's going to know. Like, I mean, hey, that gordito for a reason. Like, bro. honestly, if I wanted to find a new spot to eat, I mean, I know who I'm texting. <laughs> <laughs> right away. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, or, no, no, no. Right? Yeah, I, I mean, mean, you wouldn't be wrong. Yeah. I mean, it's like you asking me. Like, I get I get all the time the, hey, we can't get this tattoo. Yeah. Like, I get that all the time. Mm-hmm. I get it, right? So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, right? Mm-hmm. Eh, no, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be offended, but, you know. I can't speak for everybody, but for me, it, it comes very natural, very easy to like. Uh, I'm not gonna say make friends, but be friendly and 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 have that reciprocation. Yeah, I guess I'm <laughs> just a little jaded with life, where it's sometimes where I don't I don't trust people that easily. Where like mm, I don't know, because yeah. you gotta. I feel like it's good to be like that. I wish I was like that way, but I feel like I'm a little bit more like cautious. Where who. Because, I mean, even though not everybody... I mean, we had a conversation before the, the podcast, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. shit like that where you, you just kind of like... You just don't know. But I guess it, that's part of the experience, right? Is you figure out... You figure out... You pick up <clears throat> vibes. You pick up conver- like comments and conversations or stories. The way they, 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 they'll tell us a story or a tale. You're like, hmm, okay. Usually, I don't like people <laughs> that, that like to fucking talk about like their accolades and like what they can do and like that's that to me is like a red flag like i don't like to hear that shit i mean you're not dating them no but as a friend like oh yeah <laughs> but even then that kind of like you you go for it and then you're able to that's what converse that's what conversation is so important because you're able to pick off like okay this guy likes to or this individual likes to talk a lot but i notice that they brag them about themselves too much or they put themselves higher or above the rest to try to look down on us so like mm. okay i know this person i'll keep him in mind It'll be an acquaintance, but not a friend or someone close. And then so I don't like people that that is only like a one way conversation either, because there's sometimes when you talk to people and, and you could tell that they're not listening to what you're saying. They're waiting for you to be done so they can talk about their shit. And I don't I don't like that shit. Like, that's a fucking huge red flag. Like, it's like, how, how do our friendship survive then? You're not like that, though. <laughs> no, I was. He was. I mean, I yeah, was. I, I was also fucking absent for like five or six years. So I mean, how does our <laughs> friendship survive by giving space and letting fucking life <laughs> take care of it? Se <clears throat> <laughs> but there's people that generally don't give a shit about what you're doing or what you're what you're going through, and it's just all about them. And it's like, nah, like you gotta. That's not like, that's not a friendship way. I don't like people like that. Where you could honestly tell when you're talking to them, their their mind is not. It's just processing what they're about to say, and they have no idea what you're gonna say. Mm. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Some people. I mean, <clears throat> I I don't. I I really can't speak on some of this because I mean, again, not to like fucking pop my collar or anything, but I mean, sale natural way. I mean, sale natural, and and one thing is that. Like, no es que no tenga vergüenza. It's just like, I'm not... Yeah, it doesn't... So you know how some people are embarrassed or some people are shy? I'm not... It's a, te sale natural, but you end up in, in similar situations a lot of the times where... Oh, yeah. Like, you end up with people that you're like, oh, I don't I don't know how to get rid of this fucking person. Like, you end up like that a lot, <laughs> yeah. dude. So, I mean, at some point, you're going to have to... Oh, well, I, I, and like I was telling you earlier when we were talking, it's like I've learned to not, like follow up because normally my thing was like if someone is telling me something I'll keep asking and asking and asking or and I get myself into deeper 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 shit now I'm just like oh I I, I kind of found I'm still working on it but I kind of found a way of going around something so I don't fall into that pitfall mm-hmm. and shit and everything so uh, I'm, I'm still a work in progress yeah mm-hmm. I've learned I because especially now with the podcast and <clears throat> On social media and everything, we do have some sketchy characters out there. They're like, yeah, no I'm not like, I'm cautious now. Antes, I'm like, fuck yeah. that shade. Like, hey, yeah, <laughs> give me a call, way or yeah, fucking reach out. Now I'm just like, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Like, there's some people like, yeah, you know, those that like uh, that. I don't really give my number out, but there's a, a few out there that have it, and it's because we've dealt with each other and we know each other and everything. So now it's like I'm comfortable or. Or I could say, you know what, yeah, you know what, it's good that you have my number. Yeah. You know? Well, tío, hasta todo este desmadre, even fucking 
on the Stevan side, even on my side, way. If we didn't have that old Ramon, fucking this whole little thing wouldn't fucking exist, way. Porque this he didn't. This guy was disappeared, but this guy kept looking. You know, like he never, yeah. he never stopped looking for the Titanic over there, way. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then looking. yo también. No, there's, no, there's no, the lo time. Dejé, lo dejé con antojo. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted you seconds. Promised, you promised me some pulled pork, <clears throat> bro. Oh, you, you, you taught him the fucking PC, bro. He was like, oh shit, shot. He taught me the button, bro. Well, it, it had to happen. Um, even if it's not this podcast, where it could not even be this podcast. No, I'm just saying, like the the, the friendship was like all that wouldn't have happened because this guy kept chasing, <laughs> well, not chasing, yeah. but Looking kept kept you. wondering what happened to Stevan. What happened? Yeah. To, same thing. Con, I mean, me and him, we didn't go that long. Pues, like five years. Like yeah, you yeah, said. yeah. But también el fucking te va y te busca, güey. Like te va, yeah. And me and Stevan are for sure not fucking. Nah, we'll te take, va a buscar. We'll, I wonder we'll what happened. Hell. Yeah, we'll just be like, I wonder what happened, to Ramon. Ah, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, fuck it. Hope he's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But <clears throat> pero este way actively goes out and, and well and, and or yeah. used to at least and it's funny well, that you say that because it, yeah let's just say maybe this would have not happened or we would have like what happened to Esteban might have ran into him at a fucking show or might have run into him at a fucking Northgate or something but right, well, también it's like uh, the, the same thing happened with my fucking high school friend um, when I got married I lost in touch with her mm-hmm. right. And I got divorced, and then I'm like, hey, I wonder what happened to you. I am the fucking buscando. Some people would say it's borderline stalking. Mm-hmm. You're a stalker, bro, for sure. Borderline, you know? Not but I was borderline. just like, yeah, I just want to reach out what happened to my friend. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <It's okay. laughs> and finally, and finally, I was able to to reach out to her. I, I, I think I, it was one of her trainers from the gym that was a, like a spinning class. And I saw that she had a picture of her through Facebook I th- or MySpace, I think it was. I'm like, hey, listen, not to be creepy, I went with this person to high school. <laughs> see, this is not borderline anymore. Fuck it. This is my name. <laughs> Am I wrong? If, if you see this her, not borderline. If you see her, if this, you this talk is, to this her. This is why women are, are saying that men are toxic. Right? Look at, no, 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 no. Look at how dangerous these <laughs> no. fucking interactions hey. go. And I, but the thing is, I'm like, look, talk to her. This is my name and here's my number. If she was cool and everything, she'll give me a call. And about maybe mm-hmm. two, three weeks later, fucking, I get a random call, and it's my my, my friend from high school, bro. <laughs> you know, and to this day, she's still she's still part of my life. Yeah, but I mean, are you the kind of dudes that when they get married, they like those uh, what ifs? They they become like Domino's Pizza on your phone, like you put them under Domino's Pizza, so it's like a what if? Like I don't know if this this marriage is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, I got this Domino's pizza number that I know that I could always call back and and have that chance and I have that hope that we'll fucking have something. Nah. No, no, I have them by their name. I don't change it. But but it's kind of sketchy that you lost track of her once you got married. So I'm I'm assuming that the wife was like, eh, no no, you well, can't have no, female yeah. friends. Well, no, what happened is that uh, I lost track of her. Prior to getting married, I think she wanted to go do her thing. I ended up doing my thing, and at some point, you know, fucking pager numbers changed mm-hmm. because I, I don't think they had. I didn't have her house number. She didn't have my house number. We just had either pager numbers because, mm-hmm. um, and that's how we would communicate. Those so, were the days, bro. Yeah. So then pagers became obsolete. You got a cell phone, a la chingada with the pager, and you lost track. And there was no social media back then, and emails. Uh, I don't think I did emails. Yeah, but I'm saying that the. Well, Come, come, so normal people way would fucking do like you're saying. Even the like that extroverts and and como esos social people así como tú way. N- normally they they get up to that point and then like oh fuck fuck I get it so it is what it is way. You went the extra step that you found a, a yeah, picture a crazy, bro. of someone that's not even like it, that. But you see, it, you didn't find a picture of a friend or like a friend of a friend. You found a picture of like oh. I know she does spin here. Yeah. Oh, look, this instructor. Oh, look, she's in the background of this picture. Yeah. So let him hit up this instructor. Yeah, yeah it's premeditated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, it's I like, don't regret it. I don't regret it because she's still involved in my I know, life. But, but I'm like, saying that's not the only one. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, it's not. That's a little. That's but a little, there's still, there's still, much. there's still friends. We still are connected. Maybe they you know, no, I never, yeah, I, maybe I never Stockholm, did it. I never, Stockholm syndrome. No, I, know, but I oh. never did it to fucking, to take advantage of them, to fucking hook up, ni nada de eso. It's just, it's always been about the friendship. 
Ya, yeah, but nunca think, les falta respeto. Nunca les dije eso. Hey, so, <laughs> but for I think for I mean I'm not a woman, but I think for a woman that's kind of that's a little crazy way. Like you fucking you got some dude calling the calling the fucking guy at Tams because that's where you eat. He cooks her burger, so he must know her. So let me hit him. <laughs> let me hit up his neighbor to hit him up. Not even the neighbor. To the, tell him that hey, uh, I'm fucking looking for this chick. The, the the neighbor's coach, fucking son's coach, or whatever. <laughs> I, I think she comes and jogs at this park. So <laughs> See, I, I will, the, I'm like, hey, fancy to run into you here. No, I would never say there's that. There's definitely a line and you crossed. Yeah. I crossed it. But it, it, it the, the, the proof is in the pudding is that they're still in the life. You know, they're yeah, not. I didn't get saying. a restraining order. I'm not yeah. fucking. Well, I'm not. I'm not mm. on the top 10 watch list or anything like that. I'm not a registered offender. No, because there's nothing wrong. There was no malice behind it. <laughs> None. Um, maybe it's the Stockholm syndrome, and they just kind of. They're like, oh, fuck oh, it. He's so nice. This is life. Yeah. No, oh my God. Right. But I'm just saying, saying, bro. We're just. I mean, we're just putting out facts, bro. I would tell these women not to be so fucking trusting. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> tell them no. Tell them fuck off. That's weird. Different no. times. I. That Take, was, those were my friends growing up. Now, right here, right now, like, I don't think I would do that to anybody because that's not, I don't, honestly, I'm not even invested in making new friends. I'm not going out there trying to make new friends or like be part of my life because I already have the people in my life. Anybody that comes in, they're they're like, they're they're they're, they're not passerbyers, but they're like, you know, como te diría. So if you're listening to this and you became his friend through the podcast, you're not really his friend. Is what he's saying. <laughs> if he became his friend, he says after 2015. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, bro. You're, you're, you missed yeah. the cut. You're in a what is it? Provision. You're just an acquaintance. If, if you didn't meet, if you didn't meet Ramon through your your daughter's fucking softball coach, then it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know you gotta you gotta have some respect too though. Right? I don't like how people disrespect you. Right? Like you have to you have to set boundaries. Where right? like at what point? How many years of friendship should they have with you until they can shit on you? Like make fun Ooh. of you shit. Nah, like, well no, like, the, you need to up your standards, bro. I don't we like we have to shit. have been through. Mm, we know. have to have been through like you know fucking some serious shit. Like I know you and I have been through some crazy shit. Fernie and I have been through some tough times and shit. Um, there's been, you know, other friends that we've gone through goods and bad, like, you know, they, they hit rock bottom or I hit rock bottom and they were there type of deal. It's, it's something like that. There, there's that, there's, there's friendships and then there's like fucking life ships. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to say I immediately start talking shit, wait, but I, I give you fair warning a few months in, wait. I mean, I don't wait a long time, wait. Either you, you, either we have the same sense of humor or we don't, wait, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like um, <laughs> there's like this. You've, you've created like this persona where on the on the podcast, no, I, that, on the podcast world that that um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like I feel like sometimes people poke and it's like Wait you don't minute. even know this fucking guy. I've created this persona. I no. I, I take responsibility okay. for it. Yeah, of course. Right. But and that's why. <laughs> All right, I'm just no, saying. no, no. But, see, but, but you see, were on board. When no, I no, no. I take full responsibility of it. But people don't realize that you guys don't have fucking twenty years of friendship. Like, that's the difference. Mm-hmm. It's like people people like to fucking uh, use the template and be like, okay, this is this is what I'm gonna do because that's what this dude does. But no, it doesn't work like that. They, you guys don't know this fucking dude. So that's what I'm saying. It's like. At, at what point is it like you need to know somebody for this much time before you can start? Because you know it's it's kind of weird in, in in podcasting way and just being I like guess just being in in, a, in public where it's just people people fucking see and they see how you act and they feel like that's cool and it's like you, they they forget that you haven't created a rapport like the rapport is one sided. Mm-hmm. Like you think that you know that person, but that person doesn't know you. So it's like it's just like a very weird and interesting um, place to be in. Oh, it is, it is. And some of the, I mean, sometimes when people could put comments and everything. I'm like, eh, I don't take it personal. No me aguito, no me encabrono, no nothing. It's just sometimes I won't respond, or sometimes if I do put something, I'm like, oh, because of this or whatever. But for the most part, I just like I, I, it's like how you say they they somehow they think it's okay for them to do it. But I'm like, eh, as long as, you know. I know I know you brush it up, but I yeah. know you were. I, I know. I, I, oh, at the beginning, it bothered me. No, I know. But that's now, why. Now I brush it off. Now I'm like, eh, whatever. But but that's that sometimes was like, I felt like, wait, though, maybe I should just like not be so fucking. Because it's like, it's a friendship, but then it's a 
publicize friendship. Yeah. But then people see that and they think like, oh, it's cool. But it's like, I don't know. Like, and and I'm not gonna lie. There was there was there was moments where I would talk about this project to myself, and I'd be like, maybe I shouldn't do that way because I'm creating this whole fucking. Sometimes it gets a little disrespectful, in my opinion. And I'm like, maybe I'm creating something that's not cool. Like, cause you're, you're good at like, you keep a lot of things inside. You don't, you don't really like conflict. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if it's, if it's, con- sometimes I, I, I used to feel like, I don't know if it's continuing to be cool or it really does fucking bother him. He just doesn't want to say anything. So I was kind of in that loop where I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do that in public because right? it's just creating this, this thing that maybe you don't like, you know? We call it a po- podcast theatrics. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I felt kind of bad because like you said, I mean, it's basically... Nah, I mean, look, I, I, I love it. People laugh. People are enjoying it. I, it as, the minute that this starts becoming offensive to me or like where like I feel like, okay, ya me agarrando su pinche cochinito or whatever, I'll be like, all right, you know what? I'm out, bro. I'm out. Maybe I can handle it. But for, so far, I'm able to handle it. And so, I want to la carrilla, I want to I'm not gonna lie, si me encabronan, si me hacen <laughs> fucking, fucking. Que chiste ni que mis huevos. Ya sé, we told, compa. You know this shit. Chiste, <laughs> I like that one. Put that one. Se enojó el pinche carito. Está mal. Bueno. That sounds like slow punk Rodriguez. Right? <laughs> That's from El Vato Encabronado, the Knight Raider. Yeah. <laughs> fucking scene. Uh, but. Yeah, the minute that it starts becoming like that or whatever, that I'm not enjoying it, que vengo like fucking todo emputado or whatever, I think I'll just say, you know what, I'm out, guys. You know, you, right away, right I'm out. Away, I'm out. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. That's what happens when you keep shit in. Yeah. And it's it's like, it, it just, all of a sudden, it like, it, it's like, that's it. And then, you know what? That's funny that you say that because I've noticed like in the last fucking year or two, eh, like with me, I have like these these cycles of like maybe every six to eight years way. For some reason, I don't even know why I do this way, but I'm trying to catch myself now. But every six or from six to eight years, every fucking I, I go through this like complete fucking overall. I leave work, relationships and every project at the same time uh, within months and everything's just a complete control delete. And I've noticed that trend about me. And I've noticed that I started in the last month or two, I started to kind of go back to that where I try to get out of the first thing and then I was going to just keep going and then I'm like wait what are you doing like you're sabotaging yourself like I had to like kind of chill a little bit and be like wait you can't just always fucking leave when 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 it shit's not to what you think it is so I had to catch myself dude because it happens it happens like multiple times in my life every six to eight years it's not just like oh you get out of your relationship that's cool for me it's relationship a job and whatever I'm doing, everything is completely, wipe everything clean. completely fucking done, and you start over, and then you keep going. Because I remember, huh? yeah, I remember when um, when we were all single at the same time. That's uh, around the time that I noticed. Well, not noticed, but that's like the first one. And then a few years later, it ha- yeah, you're right. It happened again. Yeah, I leave everything. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's it happened everything. again. And then this, oh shit. Yeah, and it's not good. Where that's not good. Yeah, it's not healthy. Man. It's not. And so it's just, I caught myself the last month or two. It's like, wait, what are you doing? Because I was going back to that same fucking cycle where it's like everything is just, I don't like it. I'm done. Let's do something else. And how are you going to, how are you going to be like, um, I, I just didn't think that was healthy way. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Shit. I mean, I'm glad that you caught yourself. I'm glad that you were able to like, you know, realize or pick or, 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 or. See it happening. Yeah, I think uh, you know you you change as a person. I think I'm, I want to assume that I'm more aware of things, but it's like how many times do people sabotage themselves where right? they don't even catch themselves doing it? You know, because um, I I honestly feel like a lot of the times the shit that you go through is because of shit that you're doing to yourself. Right? It's not really like what people are doing for you. Because I mean, it, if you see it that way, yeah, people are fucking dicks and this and that. But you can also see it another way. You know, it's like. Like, I always think, like, you know, like, a monk or somebody that practices Buddhism, if you tell them shit, like, like this is my problem, what would they tell you? I mean, you already know that they're going to tell you that it's something that you have inside. Like, 
Or if we complain about politics, if we complain, if if, if guys complain Society about this, if, if women yeah. complain about man, this, if you tell ask somebody that's like that's been practicing their lifetime, if you tell them that, I can guarantee you that they're gonna say that it's something that you have to change within. They're not gonna tell you like, yeah, uh, men are supposed to change this way, or, or women are supposed to change, or yeah, the government's supposed to change. They're gonna tell you you need to change. Like they're gonna say that the it's changes a, within you. And and I trust that when maybe I I mean. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's just obviously uh, ideology that, that you know, just kind of. You know, could it be a stem? Could it be that we uh, like our our people, our culture, our race, our like our, our our family? They have that type of what would you say mentality, but it's more insane because, for example, like the changes in you, right? Mm-hmm. But if you talk to somebody, they say, no, güey, pinche vieja, que el trabajo, que mi pinche jefe, que los vecinos, mis pinches mocosos y que la chingada. Y que, y que tú nomás le digas, hey, güey, te estás ahogando en un vaso de agua. Mm-hmm. It's, isn't, almost like, <laughs> isn't that like almost the equivalent of changes in you? Like, hey, güey, why are you stressing out? You're, you're, you're fucking drowning in a glass of water. Like, But I, 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 I want to <laughs> say that. that. No. I, I want to say that I feel like people know that it's 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 them, but they just it's easier to blame somebody else for your shit. And maybe it's I, I guess um, I don't know. I, 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 right now, I think it's like I before I, I kind of like enjoy, not enjoy, but I like being that guy. Like if someone has to like share the problems to and everything, I'll be listening. And it, when it comes down to me, like I could give my point of view. Now, now it's just like I try to avoid those. I try to avoid it now. Like I try to avoid like uh, listening to people's problems or like, or like you know whatever <laughs> right is going away. through because I don't think I have the right answer anymore. <laughs> well, we don't. Yeah, yeah, I yeah don't. but like Esteban has told you many times, way sometimes not about having yeah. any answer. Wait. Just yeah. listen. Well, I'll, I stay quiet. <laughs> that, I'll tell you that much. I'll stay quiet, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay. And I, I'm like once in a while because mostly it's over, over the phone, so I'm like, oh, okay. And I make noises so they know that I'm there. You know, not to think that I, like I, I, I'm muted or. Um, uh, <laughs> that's not yeah, the same way. Yeah. Hey, wait. So what was that part again about fucking? You feeling sad? All right. All right. Hold on. Just emphasize. I need Ramon on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, wait, you're telling you, me. Can you hear me? <laughs> hey, uh, what's going on, there, Ramon? Oh shit! I forgot to hit mute. All right, anyway. Yeah. So now I don't know. It's like. Start getting older, and it's like now I just I don't have answers. I could hear you out, but I'm mean, like, he says it gives less fucks, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Did you, he's you're... all out of fucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody just cashed out all my fucks, bro. That's good. Where yeah, yeah. it was bound to happen, where yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Where I just I just feel like, um, it's important to kind of catch yourself sometimes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a matter of point of view, even like, even. Even like Ramon's pues before he felt he needed an answer, in this mm-hmm. now I think he I don't know if he's getting to where Stevan keeps telling him where sometimes it's just about listening, you know. There, there doesn't need to be an answer, it doesn't need a response. The same thing like what this is like what he was talking about, where like sometimes it's just it it's easier to take the point of view of this person did this to me or or this happened because of this mm-hmm. than take the point of view of saying Maybe I put myself here, you know? Yeah, because if you change, the person changes, way. Like, if, yeah. if, just to give an example, if I think this dude's a fucking dick and I hate him, if I change, right away. but if, but look, <laughs> like, that's just an example. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to point at the bug, way. No one is, like, this <laughs> fucking weird. Bug. <laughs> you could point at the borracho right here All behind right, Ramon. This, this fucking borracho. <laughs> if that guy's an asshole and I fucking hate that dude, if I change, he changes. Because if I change the person that I am, I don't see him as an asshole anymore. I might be seeing him as troubled, s- some fucking kid that got fucking had a rough. So if I change, he changes, right? From your perspective, yeah, theoretically. But the person changes, like they they change right before your eyes if you change, because then all of a sudden, hey, wait, pues este no me tan gordo, because now I now but I, I mean, understand. He, he, he could be an asshole, but I mean, from your perspective, once. But he's not, he, but, you don't but, get those he's not an asshole to everybody. There's somebody that loves that person and, and somebody that shoots the shit with that person. So yeah. that means that he's an asshole in my eyes, but then he's not an asshole to somebody else. So that means when you change, right, and I'm like, hey, it's a way this and that, all of a sudden the person changes. But we don't do that. We, we point at him and we tell him, you need to change. And that's where the problem goes is you're like, you need to change. But you're like, no, if you change, that person changes. Uh, oh shit! Es, es como la, um, 
What happened, bro? No, it's just, I just had this conversation with somebody at work. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, this guy has a strong, like, a strong personality, right? And, you know, some guys, some of our coworkers don't really care for him or anything. But with me, I'm cool with him. And then we were talking about another coworker in another department. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, fuck that guy. He's an asshole. I'm like, you know what? I used to think that. But once, you know, I, I, I guess he expects everybody to come, you know, fucking... Challenge him or whatever. I don't. I just come my like, and I myself. I talk to him like nothing. And now you know. You know now you know. Like, dude, he might be an asshole with others, but he's not an asshole with me. Yeah. And uh, it's like with you. You and I were cool. You. Some other people might think you're an asshole, and I might think you're an asshole. But you're my asshole. Mm-hmm. But we're cool. <laughs> See, you know, we're, we're cool. Not, not the same. Not the same. <laughs> we're, we're cool. <laughs> and I don't. You know, it's like I, I can still talk to you and everything. And some people won't approach you because you have this strong persona or you have this like. Fucking like this, like uh, the shell, like a shield, huh? like a shield or whatever. Like you know, in la mañanas, cause if you don't come fucking smiling or whatever, saying hello, or whatever, everybody thinks you're in a bad mood. Yeah. I still fucking say hi to you. Yeah, and that's the same thing with the other guy. Everybody thinks that he's a jerk, and maybe he is with others or lo que sea. But when I see him, siempre lo saludo. Fucking, we've been at same jobs or like at the same workplace, y la ayuda and everything. Dude, we end up fucking talking and we're cool. I have no problem with it. But at the beginning, I always, you know, I always thought that, yeah, fuck that guy. I'm like, I'm mal. But now I'm like, you know, now that I think about it, maybe I was just. You made an assumption. Yeah, I made an assumption. And now I'm like, you know what? No, he might be an asshole. At least with me, he's fucking cool. Yeah, no, you you have that way. Because you do that. You do that to me, actually. Like, <laughs> sometimes I'm, I'm like, I'm in certain settings where. People are like, oh, and then they, they also are like, oh, and then it, the whole fucking environment just fucking takes a shit because they initially read me and then they're like, mm, and then they don't fucking. But if I if I come into this space and then you guys are like, mm, you fucking are like, eh, so then it's like, all right, yeah, well, whatever, fuck it. <laughs> whatever, 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 whatever I'm going through, fuck it, it doesn't matter right now. Yeah. So so you you're you're good at getting into that for and that, that's a good thing because right? some people might see somebody that like mm, and then they're like also like standoffish and then that doesn't help but like when you come in and then, then that person kind of snaps out of it you know yeah well yeah. but it's the same thing like with, with people fucking complain about the relationships way and then mm. like we we're saying earlier the fucking marriages fall apart <laughs> and you're like oh it's because that fucking bitch and that yeah. fucking this and pinchy ho and can but these people, I guess, tampoco, like, they, they could turn that around and say, wait, why am I attracted to that? Yeah, for sure, bro. You for know, sure. the, why why did I put myself in that? Why why is that why I'm attracted to it? So it, it works in a lot of situations, with Yeah. Well, you know? I, I think I think a lot of times we want to we wanna, we wanna be credited to changing that person. Like, we walk around with that ego, like, like we're fucking Jesus with a robe wearing Birkenstocks. Right? And, like, every <laughs> person... Birkenstocks are pricey, bro. Every, every flowing hair. Every, every person that we... <laughs> touch fucking we change their lives and 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 no matter how much these people live they're always going to associate it with me changing their life i did this to you yeah and it's like fuck that's crazy yeah <laughs> ramon walks around going i walk in you're the- no longer an asshole you're no longer I walk an asshole in a cloud way no. i don't need no fucking crocs to fucking feel like this way no, zero, fucks, zero fucks <laughs> zero fucks zero fucks <laughs> who's that guy on the cloud Zero fucks, Ramon. Fucking zero hey, fucks is a, the Catholic Church that you guys hear about those fucking that France report that came out. The with? French one, yeah, yeah, dude. No mames. What do you think is gonna happen? What do you think? Nothing. Is, nothing. Huh? Nothing. Because this French? is this is, this is back like in what the fifties or the sixties to now. A lot of a lot of the oh okay to now, but they just uh, yeah, was there a was good. a report that came out that uh, uh, apparently like over two hundred and fifty cases of, of of child molestation cases from the 50s to now were reported that happened wait a minute 250,000 oh thousand yeah <laughs> because I'm like no, I was wait. like that's like 250 no that's way that's a super low ball yeah. 250,000 I don't know you better check the Carfax on that one like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> that, that mileage, mileage is low poquito, that was accurate yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like they turned back the mileage bro yeah. well I mean we're shitting on it but 250 still the, no the, I'm saying about the 200 that it's on the like and the Pope was disgusted and he talked and I guess the French people 
but I'm not like, dude, come on. It's a cold, bro. Dude, fucking from the 50s. And that's just when there was records. I don't think they're fucking further back, we? I don't think the I don't think any government has the balls to go against the church, though, way. No. My machinita, way, no. I don't know that they, they're ready for that backlash. The, 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 the juice the church has is that cabron. A lot of these politicians will lose fucking votes or get voted out. They won't get reelected, and they're afraid of that. They're afraid of it because uh, you know it's. Uh, but dude, that was fucked up. I was I was hearing a case that this lady was like eighty years old. Her and her sister were orphans in France, and that uh, no, they were they were they were to a single mom, right? And the mom was an alcoholic. But the priest used to come over and everything, and she was saying how fucking he showed up and he couldn't listen. He, he would show, le llevaba vino a la señora, like, you know, la, la terapia, we. Mm-hmm. Fucking little, like, oh, te traje lo que sobró from Sunday Mass or whatever. Y aquí hay una comidita, y la señora se ponía peda, y ahí se quedaba, y que fucking he started with the girls sitting on my lap, y esto y esto, lo otro. Next thing, este cabrón was so descarado that he was bringing other priests. So at one point, there oh, were shit. three priests in there at once. I'm like, no mames, y la señora fucking passed out. And the little girl, and the, well, the, 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 the older lady, yeah, she, because I think her sister passed away, and she's like 80-something now, French, and she was explaining all of this, and it's like, you know, what do you do? These are the people that you respect. These are the people that are supposed to guide you. They're Pillars like, of the community. Exactly, and <laughs> they're doing this so you think it's normal, but we knew it wasn't normal. It was wrong. I think I think it's hard for like our parents' generation to to – to lose faith in in the Catholic Church because they're they're so devoted to it for since they were kids. When because I've talked to people about this that are from that generation and and like, hey, what do you think about this? You know, like, and it, and I think a lot of those people are are having a hard time processing what they should do mm-hmm. because they're like, I get it, but then what am I going to have faith in? Like, this is well, I mean, that the, the when any time this is the, that like that. Thing has been brought up with yo también like we we talked about this at that length way I'm not a a religious person way in that sense no pero I do I do understand the difference between the church and like the religion way so like you could still believe in the religion like the religion part of it has nothing to do with any of that way that's just fucking pinches cabrones taking advantage you know like fucking that's a a, a human thing way so if you still want to believe in that that there should be no problem in you believing in that. You just you don't have to believe in the actual like the physical church, man. Didn't this like that could be as corrupt as possible, and you can still have these these. Uh, if you want to follow this the Bible, then follow the Bible, you know. But see that that's 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 like that that goes into like how government runs the country, where like you know the people that don't have money and don't have fucking uh, the the authority to fucking protect themselves. We get fucked all the time, and the people that have money they don't. The Catholic Church. Doesn't condemn them They just kind of hide it But then if I have adultery I'm fucking Told that I'm gonna go to hell If something happens to me I'm fucking uh, You know they, they go down on the Fucking normal person But these people The church accepts it Like there's There's a discrepancy there Like the church shouldn't be like well, Yeah this and that Like like Cause when the normal person The normal Day to day person when, when they do something That's considered a sin Which to me, it's crazy to fucking think that you can live your life without fucking having these thoughts. Like, that's crazy, bro. And they get ostracized sometimes for fucking just being a normal person. But then these fucking assholes, because they have the power, they get protected. It's the same thing that's happening. Well, government. they get forgiven just like the regular con- lay-, lay person or the um, fucking congregational following or the community or the church, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but they, 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 the, the loophole is that they're, they repent and they are forgiven. But but sure okay you can forgive them and stuff but it's like Take if you were, yeah. if yeah if you were another job yeah. he would have got fired yeah but they get transferred and instead they just fucking move them around well, they shuffle them around way so and, like and that that's why I'm saying that's but that's, that's, that's but that's, I'm saying from from the person's point of view pues like like you're saying like well for our parents it might not happen way but I I think a lot of people like even I, the j- younger generation are now distinguishing pues just like there, there's a lot of a. Uh, I've noticed, I mean, I don't know how many the numbers wait, but there's a lot of uh, people in the gay community or the the whatever that the, they call it now, you know, my bad, you know, that that are, are religious way, you know, that and they know the church doesn't accept it, but it doesn't matter to them because they they live by by what the like, you know, the way they try to live by like what the most of the Bible says and all that stuff. You know, they're still trying to be religious without the church. So you could do that way. Like, yeah, the church is corrupt as fuck way. 
they have all kinds of money. They have Jesus all kinds Christ. of corruption. They gotta have all kinds of fucking all these mamadas way. Look at that shit. What was it the, in Canada where they found the fucking bodies? Oh, uh, the native, um, the native yeah, children. Dude, look at all these mamadas way. So that's what I'm saying. Jesus. Like maybe our parents won't be able to do it. Maybe the generation between, maybe like our generation and and people after. Like I, I I try to say that the way like you can separate the two like the physical church from the uh, teachings way like if you really want to stick to that you know if it doesn't turn you away from it and you really want to like save your religion thing like to yourself not as a whole not as the world just for you dude you don't have to go pray in the church you don't have to do dick these to do baptisms like outside and shit you know like you can go old school bro and just it you just live your life. By that, way. I mean, I understand what you're saying, right? But at the end of the day, like, you're, you're praying to a to a to a fucking uh, a group of people that within themselves, like, they they can't fucking take care of the shit. That's like, why? But you're not why? praying to them. You're not supposed to pray to them. Wait. No, but you're praying to this 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 fucking this, Deity, this, the, 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 the ideology yeah. that these people are are also using to protect themselves. Like, I mean, it's like. I see the church as fucking government, dude. It's the same fucking shit. Way right? it's the same thing. They're they're their own little fucking country, their own little government. So, I mean, we could have that debate about politics. Like we could have the same debate, and it'll be the same thing. You just replace this with that. I mean, like mm-hmm. I, I just I don't know. I mean, for me personally, I, I I don't know how I could fucking pray for for something that's supposed to protect you know myself, and and I have to fucking feel like you know. Uh, Jesus died for my sins, and, and I owe this. And and if I fucking if if I if I sleep with some chick at work, I'm a fucking asshole, and I have to fucking pray, and I have to go to confession. And I'm and a dick, I'm, and I'm forgiven. And then yeah, exactly. And I'm but, forgiven. But 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 then these dudes are fucking. They do all this shit, and it's like nothing happens. Like whoa, that's crazy. Like why yeah. would I want to pray to that ideology that's supposed to have an umbrella? Under this, this fucking um, and it's society, hypocr- it's hypocrisy. Way it's like they don't, they they won't prosecute them. They won't turn them into the authorities or anything because it makes the church look bad. So what they do is they transfer them over. They won't kick them out of church for the fear that this priest might feel a little revolt kick in and start his own little congregation or his own little oh, shit, is that cult. What that is, yeah, his own little cult and everything. And you know, fucking. Like you have all these, like, like if you look at all these little ministries out there, a lot of them are because they're ex. Uh, the majority are ex Catholic. That know. for some reason or I'm other got too. got ostracized or got pushed out for lo que sea, mm-hmm. and or I, I'm, I'm not gonna assume the majority, like a good portion of them. So I guess the the, the church bits interest, and I don't know how they would see it, and I'm not fucking defending them, or I'm not for them, or or anything. But the way they see it, they're like, all right, it's best if we could just keep them under our guard and send them somewhere else. But even then, they fucking let them do what they want. It's government. Yeah, it's, politics. it's like, fuck it's, that, it's, dude. It's like, government. get this motherfucker out here, kick him out, fucking prosecute him, whatever, dude. What what good? Because of the good name of the church? No, there's mistakes. There's, there's going to be bad incidents and, and even the most purest thing ever. There's going to be... Bad shit going on. We're not perfect. The church is not perfect, but because they want to seem like they're infallible, like you know they they can't they can't do no wrong. No. They they try to hide everything, and no. it just makes shit worse. No. And yeah, look, I I don't practice. I'm not. I, I don't fucking go to church or anything. I still believe uh, a lot of the. There's a lot of tradition. There's a lot of stories and everything. I still believe, but I'm not like a big follower. I'm not like a hardcore Catholic. I still have like, you know, Fernie makes fun of me for doing the sign of the cross every time I jump on the freeway. No, that one's ridiculous. One. Yeah. But sabes que? A la chingada, wey. Todo esto, sí, me cae mal. And I remember like talking to people and, and, it, and it always trips me out because I was trying to figure out during the time of uh, like last year with the riots and everything. And there was a phrase throwing around that I'm like, where the fuck have I heard that until right now? If I can click, you can't judge a whole organization because of a few bad apples. Mm-hmm. So you can't judge a faith or whatever for a few bad apples. And I'm like, that's and that's the same thing that was going on during the yeah, time. Yeah, pero el pinche, como dice Esteban, we, I mean, when, when you come to the organization, we, like I'm saying, the, 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 the religion and the organization are, should, are, two are, separate are, things. Are, are separate, you know, like the, the beliefs, pues. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're using the beliefs to justify things and to, pero 
it's that organization. That organization is fucking corrupt as fuck, way. Look how much they're dead. Like this Vato says, they have their own little country. They have their own little laws, right? On top of that, way, they're sitting that fucking under the Vatican. They have priceless and priceless fucking art way mm-hmm. like fucking on top of each other like fucking just stacks way it's just stacks of money stacks sitting on there. stacks on stacks yeah. and they're still asking for donations they mm-hmm. still want to fucking be tax free they still fucking want to be a donate to whatever the fuck they want and do they probably have enough money in there to fucking end hungry and shit way or or at oh, least fucking 100% make, they have or money. or to fucking like make a make good headway way and no, okay, they just—it's just sitting there. Like I don't understand. They just dude, just the vestments that they're wearing, dude. You think the 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 fucking the robes and the lining and the stitching, dude? That shit you're looking at like as as expensive as a like an Armani suit or whatever. Mm. Probably more. Wait. Yeah, they're like fucking thousands of dollars just for the little vestments and the gold trimming and the all this. I'm like, dude, really? Mm-hmm. This is not the church that you know God or Jesus wanted. With all these fat, all the gold in it. Come on, really? It's just, uh, it's it's that little hypocrisy that sometimes as you start getting older, you're like, oh, come on. Yes, your faith is one thing, the religion is one thing, and then the, the organization the, or the fucking, the church is another. You know, and it's just, it's, uh, it's debatable. Not debatable, it's just, you're not going to change people's mentalities because in their mind, they're like, oh, no, the Pope is right. The church is right, the priest is right, the nuns are right, and yeah. that's how way it is. Yep. And it's like, no, people make mistakes. They're fucking assholes out there. They're predators. They're fucking there there's you know, there's pushovers or lo que sea. Pues ya ves, even a was a, a couple years ago way, remember I think we talked about it, it might have been during the time we fucking already were doing this way. That that uh there was a big like a well, article that went around way that some uh, I forgot from one magazine or whatever. Some some lady went and, and uh, posed as her her daughter or como estuvo. I don't know. She did a little article. Remember that? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure you remember once I tell you that, that she went and posed as a like online way and like to Facebook and fucking Instagram and everything and posed as a like like a 14 year old or something and fucking within minutes way she already had fucking pedophiles fucking hitting her up like like dozens way of pedophiles way shit I've done that way I talked about it oh yeah like, shit like that so dude it's fucking crazy way so I mean these guys find a way even if I have to if I, if I have to go fucking through an wait, organization wait, let, let, me, let me clear that up a, I haven't fucking talked to kids oh yeah you've been the kid <laughs> I, I, I've, I've fucking just cause I don't know I don't want fucking people yeah, yeah, maybe people. they haven't heard that podcast yeah we, me and my girlfriend just really quick we pretending we were kids just to see if it was really like that and yeah dude there's, there's Fucking crazy people. That's what I'm saying. So, so these these people way fucking will find a way. Way they'll go. They'll take the long road if they have to to fucking get to their goal. in this. Mm-hmm. So, that cabron way. They're in everything. Way tan metidos in todo way. So it's not even like at, at that level. It's not even just the, the the church way. They're they're in a lot of shit way. Yeah, they're big man. They're big again. Está cabron. Way. And it's one thing we're not we're not questioning your faith. We're not trying to shit on your beliefs or anything. It's just there's some. The, the the I guess the the, the way the house of it, hypocrisy the hypocrisy and the way that they, they they either took or failed to take action that's the whole thing and that that's really upsetting way right? because there's some there, there's a lot of things that should have been avoided especially people of the faith that they're supposed to protect you that they're supposed to be in your best interest and build your 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 connection between your living mortal self and you know a living. God uh, and they're the they're the connection in between and they're fucking tainting this dude. I think it's gonna take the the actual people that like Fernando says that can separate what they're doing with actual ideology. I think it's gonna take those people to fucking stand up and do the same shit that's going on with with government and shit that's happening around the world. But people are just tired. Mm-hmm. They're fucking. They're, it's gonna take something like that. And even then, they're not gonna do it way. But I just I don't know. I, I hate to say that. Maybe that's just gonna be part of like life is always dealing with that. I just saw uh, I just saw uh, fucking a series, a limited series on Netflix called Midnight Mass. Dude, that shit is a slow burn. It's a slow burn, but God, shit, man, that thing is good. God shit. I know. I was gonna say God, I was gonna say gosh damn it. <laughs> but I'm like, no, yeah, I already talked so it's much. It's a documentary, shit. or no? It's a limited series. It's a, it's a series. It's a, but it's really good. And, and like, I, I think I was more fascinated because there's always people that that use Bible verses or quotes or parables or psalms or whatever to benefit or to justify what they're doing. 
And this show does such a good job where we're like, how the fuck? And this is how people get brainwashed. You know, this yeah, is how la people... Yeah, la bien chingón, güey. But it's a good series. It's seven episodes. So I was watching it like uh, late at night. I was watching the, the QAnon one that's on HBO. And, and I feel like it's... it's It, it just doesn't work for everybody, though, dude. They, they, they know QAnon, all that shit that you're talking about. They know how to target the right fucking people that, that you can easily get into. There's always like, it's a, I mean, it's not always the same thing, but there's correlations between like people that, that just don't feel like they're Cults, outcasted. Sex. People um, that, that feel like they don't have a community. Like these people like to prey on these fucking people and then that's how they get them. Like that QAnon shit is fucking crazy, bro. That documentary. I only got two episodes in. Some, some, some of it reminded me of the the, the cryptocurrency fucking world too, where like some of it was like fucking like crazy, dude. Like, like, like you would watch The Simpsons and then they would say they would they would say like, look, there's a Q in the fucking kitchen, and then you could see it, and I'm like. I guess it's a cube, but like you guys are fucking, and that's what they do in the crypto space, dude. There's a fucking, there's a show or something, and then they they point out like, like, uh, like the the symbol for like the the cryptocurrency, and then they'll be like, look, it's a fucking subliminal, fucking everything's about like signs, and and people fucking have YouTube channels of like them d decoding and. <clears throat> And dissecting a video and what is the meaning and they're just making shit up, dude. They're like making shit what up. What does this mean? What does it mean? People what do they know? Fucking signs, no? Like it's uh, that X right there. Like it would be like, look, there's an X right there that fucking says this, and it's like you're looking at it from the outside. You're like, relax, damn dude, brown. This is fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> like this is crazy. Tom Hanks or like like people just want to see things and and they they create yeah. these fucking these things like a yeah, little world around the way. It's fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> that, that, that cover on that shit, way. Yeah, for sure. They prey on you. Way. The one that I saw on Netflix was that Squid Game that everybody's talking about. Yeah, I, I haven't saw seen it. that shit. Mm. I saw the fucking, the, what was it? The fucking Chappelle, bro. The one that people are already I'm, complaining I'm, about. Dude, I was like. Wait, is that a new one or the one that? It's that's a, new a new one. one. It just came out. With me. When I'm did like, it come out? Uh, uh, this weekend? Monday, or? Tuesday. Oh, uh, it's not the one where you talk about the the alphabets in the car. That's a different one? Yeah, that's a this is a, this, this is a later the, one. This uh, is the last one he's doing yeah, for, well, for, like his Netflix contract. Or yeah. Whatever. I heard so they're trying to cancel it. He, he said right away, fucking like in the first few sentences, oh, he was man. like, this is the last one for a while. For a while. And I'm, and I'm letting it all out. So he gets a little yeah, crazy. But man. he knows you can't cancel a black man in 2021, dude. He knows what he's doing. Well, he, he, he kind of talks about that shit too. He, 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 there's people that talk about like, I know it's like, Like taboo, but there's people talk about the black privilege too. I mean, it's a thing. You can't you can't be a realistic fucking person and not think that that's a thing. Obviously, there's a lot of injustices that go on in that community, but there's certain people that know that you know, like it's a thing, you know. And I feel like he's one of those people that know. I mean, you're not gonna cancel a black dude, man. You're not gonna cancel a black chick. Like that's just like Candace Owens. People fucking hate her. You're not gonna cancel her, dude. Like you're not gonna fucking I don't know that. Candace Owens. It's, it's some some black chick that talks shit about the black community. It's like conservative. Oh, that she's yeah, super religious too. Whatever. She's, she's conservative yeah, as yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah, she talks shit about Cardi B. Yeah, stop pendeja. Stop pendeja. She talks shit. She she, she, she she talks shit about everybody. Like, she she had a video where she was trying to say someone was fucking racist. You know, like a pedo. But they don't know what to do with her because she's a black mm -hmm. woman. Like they don't know what to do with her in 2021. Like, can we cancel this person? Like, wait, she's a black. Where, uh, like. It, they know and they fucking operate in that. In she's that a space. trifecta. She's a woman, a minority, and a conservative. Whatever. Yeah. So yeah. conservatives love her because she's a black woman, mm -hmm. and they the Republicans love her because she's black and she talks shit about black people. So she's in this this weird fucking space that she knows because she's a black woman, like that they don't know how to handle her. But do you think? <coughs> so, so do you think that that chick way? Like, I mean, I don't know too much about her, but I've seen a couple. That's on her. The you think fucking she she's playing that that little game way where she knows a hundred percent. I'm I'm a I'm gonna play this conservative role. I'm gonna talk shit about fucking black people, and I know that these guys are gonna love me, so I'm gonna make money. <coughs> And I know they can't cancel me because if she was a because if she I'm was a, if she was a black chick talking about BLM, how how interesting is that? Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying she must know, right? She's a black chick She's talking must about be doing her anti BLM. She's talking about fucking anti. Because no, I'm saying because she's like when when like the stuff I've seen, she says I'm stupid as shit. She's shitting on AOC. She's shitting on everybody. Anybody you could think of, she's shitting on. That's on the left. But I'm, I'm saying like like when she talks, she's not throwing out like facts or anything. She's throwing out like some crazy. It's her. Mamas. It's her brand. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna hate her hustle, but I know what she's doing. 
Yeah, that, that's what I'm asking. She, she's just going to be another black person in the sea of BLM movements. But then this, she's a black chick in a conservative fucking anti the other side. And so, I mean, she's going to blow up. And obviously she has. She's got people like fucking me interested to see what she's saying. She's got people interested in what the fuck she has to say because of the simple fact that that's like a, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the oddball shit that yeah, like, what the stands fuck? out. Yeah. So I, it's a good I, little racket, bro. I, I know people. I believe that that people operate in that in that space, knowing that people don't know what the fuck to do with them. You know, mm-hmm. I don't think they're as uh, Chappelle's as offensive. Or I mean, maybe I shouldn't talk because I haven't seen the what you're talking about. But <clears throat> Chappelle's definitely not a Candace Owen. I mean, Chappelle's a little bit more. He's a comedian. Like these people, yeah, but people, fabricate people, stories. El, el, el pedo, I think, is that the people don't, at least with the Chappelle way, the other one, but should, people don't take jokes the same anymore. Way, like, there's, it, it might be like you're saying that he knows fucking, you can't really cancel. I mean, you think way. they're gonna cancel him? Well, they do. They they've worked fucking hard way. They fucking they've they've tried canceling him a lot way. They've tried to get him off of Netflix. They fucking done petitions, all kinds of shit. Netflix loves about though because it brings him a lot of cash. But that's what I'm saying. He he does say shit. That I could see how if, if you were on the other end of it, you could take it like badly, but at the same time understand way he's like you said, he's a comedian. And I'm I'm still of the of I guess the generation or the time where where comedians always said like crazy shit, way. Like that's those are the guys that were always pushing that fucking yeah, that fucking that line. Little, yeah. yeah, they step over a line and see how far they can get, you know? Well like a, a comedian like his style was there's always a couple or more that that always stepped over that line. Okay, that's a little t- t- too far. Right, let me reel it back a little bit way, and let me try it this way. Maintain this, but they're always trying to push it, and that's so. In that sense, he's like that old school way, fucking. And so, yeah, it, it rouse feathers way, but people have forgot that it's still like comedy, bro. There's a. I was watching it, and I think uh, at some point it was it was really late at night. Um, fucking, I fell asleep, but I remember watching this. And at some point, when they pan the camera from his angle, looking at the audience, there's this white lady with her daughter. Oh, I think I saw that. I know what you're talking and, about. And every time he said something, they would pan from the big, and they always show her. And then you, the, uh, at some point, the daughter's laughing, but the mom's are like, like shaking her head. And when, like, you, when he was talking about the, the trans people? Yeah, the that's trans. Kind of, that's kind of weird that they edit it like that. Usually, but, comedy shows, they don't show the audience. Maybe yeah. they, wanted, well, no, like they it, wanted to see the reaction. I mean, there's probably, a purpose. But it's it's like, the, I was looking at the audience, and there's some that, like, uh, they'll laugh, and then some people stand up, and then there's some people laughing and shaking their head and rubbing their head like, fuck, I can't believe you said that. But this lady, they always folk, uh, like, I, I don't know they why focus, she's, but they, they, it stands out. It stands out, one, because cause they're, no, por nada, pero they're white. And then they're wearing like light colored clothes. Yeah, and then, and then they're the, the only kid. ones. Everybody else is like laughing, and they stand out because they're just fucking. Yeah, the mom, and that's some just and fucking then, arms crossed. And then fucking at some follow. point further in, I I noticed that both of them are like serious with their arms yeah. crossed. The daughter has like bluish hair or colored hair with black glasses. Y la señora has that blonde Karen haircut or. Fucking, let me talk to your manager. No, no man, that, that seems kind of like like a place. Setup? Yeah, that seems kind of no, like I, place. I, I mean, for sure, way like when when like, they when they're doing the cuts, for sure they use their because they, they usually don't. I mean, you hear comics say like, "Don't get the audience, just get me." Like, but the, the Chappelle ones are it, the, they've always done. It, that. It's a, if you see them, they're all pretty cohesive in that sense. Well, well I mean, they, they don't go. It, it's because he he likes to he likes to record the reaction. He does yeah. it because he knows what he's doing. That's why they edit it the way that mm-hmm. he wants it because he wants you to see how people. Or acting, but um, it just kind of what you're telling me. It just feels like that was staged. Like they placed that person. Yeah, right I was there. looking at him. I'm like, ah, que casualidad, because there are some white people here and there and everything. And and he throw at the at what I was what I remember at the beginning. He's all like, look, I'm not against this. I'm not against that. I'm just against white people. That, <laughs> you know? that was a, a little bit in, yeah. Yeah, and I'm all like, oh shit. And when he says that, they 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 switch the angle and then that's when you see the the lady that's what i noticed it then she's all like she's just shaking her head and like mm-hmm. so he's shitting on white people this is why yeah, no, upset? At, no at some point no he should he, on everybody no, well, he, what, what's the, what's the biggest it, what's the if, biggest if, like i mean no i mean so the overall theme he tells you way he tells you what it is i haven't seen it so just that, what, that, what that, that, it? I'm, but i'm not trying to ruin it for people i haven't seen it but i'm saying the overall theme like un, the underlying layer is that he's not against this, this, and this, this, that they all le ponen, like, hey, this vato's against this, against this guy's tra- this, that everything, and- at the end of the day, he lays out for you that he's against white people with. Oh. Like, fucking, in other words, it all comes back to, to, like, the way black people have been treated, and he's 
throwing a lens through like other these other things, and people don't wait for the for the to get to that point way. They just hear the first part and try to cancel them or whatever. So so it's a bit, and they don't listen to the whole thing. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, fucking people! It's the same shit they do all the time. It's always the same shit. Yeah. They 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 listen to the setup and they react. And they don't listen to the whole fucking bit. It's just people don't understand comedy. Way people people see comedy, they don't understand that it's a bit that that they're setting up and like wait for it. Like don't just fucking react as soon as you hear it. Well, no, his is. I mean, he what he's trying to like. He he lays it out, pues. But normally, like they're they're smarter jokes, pues. Me entiendes? Like there's another layer is what he's saying, and you're not picking up that other layer because you never get past. It's not like he says like the punchline is oh fuck white people. But, like, if you pay attention to the whole routine, he's implying fuck white people, man, didn't this? So you have to, like, read into it a little bit. But como says, you have to pay attention. But people are so quick to get triggered. They hear the first few lines. Like, oh, shit, this dude's anti this. Plus, this dude's anti this. Plus, like, later Chappelle, his cadence is, is really slow. Like, he's more of, like, a... He sets it up, It's yeah. like a storyteller. Yeah. Like, you're yeah. watching, like, Letterman talk or something, like how Letterman was doing a show on Netflix or whatever. He, he, it's more like a, like a story, right? It's like He engages you. He he, 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 he takes builds, you through yeah. a journey. Yeah, and you're, and you're, and you're, it's like a guided, he's guiding you and you're going through it. Like, oh, yeah. This is- uh, I think he's one of the best fucking comics that has ever lived. I mean, arguably, he's just, he, he, he's, he knows he knows exactly what he's doing. No, and if you watch him from the beginning, como dices tú, también, you, you've seen his growth, way. like you've yeah. seen him progress and like advance, plus from from like yeah. just telling like jokes like you're, or bits and stuff, <clears throat> like to, it's not like a little weaving way and then shit comes back and then you laugh because that shit was fucking, half an hour ago he said some shit and he brought it back. smoking a cigarette yeah. like this? Uh, this? I don't one? know about no, this one. I didn't see no? a cigarette way. Uh-huh. I don't remember seeing but that. But like you're saying, he weaves a chingon now. Like it, mm-hmm. he's, he's got it he's down, bro. He's fucking smart, bro. Yeah, I've, I, I, was, I was watching old clips of him with Martin back in like the 90s with Def Jam or Def Comedy Jam and all that shit. And he was just wild, bro. Like, I mean, obviously that was like fucking 20, 30 years ago. So his style obviously morphed into what it is right now. But in those days, he was a little bit more like, like fast. Gotcha. And, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's throwing bits. You <laughs> it was know, fucking throwing, funny. What the hype? You know what? It's it's weird now because I listen and he has this deep fucking voice, and I'm all like fucking a. And then was, he's, a little, no, he no, felt no. it in his PC muscle. But <laughs> if you go back, if you go back and you and you, and you, and you watch Half Baked or you even watch the Chappelle show, he has a high whiny noise. Yeah, I think it's all smoking. Yeah, yeah, dude, I think <laughs> yeah. it is. You know who was fucking a uh, fucking awesome comedian too from that that same crowd was Bernie Mac, dude. Oh, uh, I, I used to like Bernie dude, Mac. Dude, Bernie Mac, I was I was watching because like, with the with those old fucking Martin Lawrence, um, a fucking the Def Jam, you said salió some of the old school fucking Bernie Mac. He's he's dressing in fucking these jeans with a airbrush fucking face, and he's like, I don't give a fuck about you people or some shit. Like the whole thing was like, I, I'm not afraid of you. It was like he started off fucking. I guess the the audience was like rowdy. You know, the, the black audience is is very fucking animated. Very like, engaged. Like if you're not if you're not used to those rooms, like that's what like Chris Rock was saying that when he started touring with Martin, Chris Rock was used to white rooms, and then he was working with white rooms a lot, and then he fucking was with Martin doing black rooms, and he realized how he lost that that fucking. Like, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Chris Rock was doing who was the white rooms with? He uh, Chris Ro- Chris Rock was doing a lot of white rooms at oh, the time, on his own. and then he went on tour with Martin doing black rooms, and he realized how in the white rooms he kind of slowed his cadence and. It was more it, it was, was a different st- yeah. he couldn't keep up with martin martin was just fucking throwing this shit but um but yeah bernie mac fucking knew that the crowd was fucking rowdy and the first thing he said when he got on stage is like something like i don't give a fuck about you people i ain't afraid of you people like that was a that was a bit <laughs> yeah. every joke that he says he's like i don't give a shit about you people and then everybody was like oh <laughs> and he just worked that shit bro like fucking Fucking Bernie Mac was funny as fuck. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't like fucking like that's fucking art, bro. Like the way he worked that stage, bro. The way he was talking to the audience, the way they were engaging. This guy was fucking another level, bro. Yeah, pinche Bernie Mac was one of, one, of the, as fuck. one of the jokes from his fucking TV show that I always remember is one time he said, "You can't blackmail, blackmail." <laughs> <laughs> well, Dick, remember there, there was a there was a little fucking joke that we always went back to when he, him and uh, Chris Rock made a movie. I think Chris Rock oh. was his brother, and he was running for president, and 
And he goes, I want you to be my vice president. <laughs> and they had him like on a new show, you know, like on CNN or something. Yeah. Like, so what do you think of, uh, da -da -da -da, you know, fucking NATO? And he's like, I don't know no NATO. I never met no NATO. I don't know any NATO, any money. And the guy's like, no, NATO, the, the, the fucking da -da -da -da. Not right? Yeah, and he's like, oh, no, no, I thought you meant NATO Jenkins. Nah, fuck that fool. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, God, bro. These guys are... But that I never met no NATO. I don't know no NATO. <laughs> so so the, the black comedians have the same thing like like black musicians have is, is like if you if you there's this thing that black drummers say that white drummers are always behind the beat like they're a little and black drummers are are ahead of it, are ahead of it. Oh, and, shit. and, and there, there's a even like your ethnicity way it, it dictates how you fucking play it's very subtle and the nuances like maybe the audience is not gonna catch but if you're playing with these people you you, you, you know that a white dude's always gonna like you you hear uh, Lars, Lars Ulrich from fucking Metallica. Metallica. When he plays the drums, he's always... I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but he's always behind the song. Like, the song wants to push more, and Lars is just kind of keeping it, like, he's behind the beat. And black drummers are... are they, they, they're more ahead of it. They understand, like... TV on the radio. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and fucking... Um, I, I, when I was, when I was like, listening to these guys, I was like, dude, black comedians are the same way. way. They're, they're like... The way they joke is like... It's, it looks so fucking easy, dude. It looks so easy when fucking Bernie Mac's fucking, fucking just killing, bro. And Martin Lawrence and, and Dave Chappelle and all these fucking dudes. And then you see somebody like Bill Burr. He's killing too, but it's a different, it's a, a different yeah. cadence, obviously, yeah. right? But it, it's just interesting to see how like even that dictates like, like the kind of art that you produce. It's the cabrón with the fucking. I thought it was good, way. So I'm gonna check yeah. it out today, way. Uh, I, I need to. I think I left off with. Uh, there's a scene at a bar that someone's doing this, the, the clap thing to him. I, I think oh, I left. The end, I really yeah, think. I, 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 I dozed off at that point and shit. So I got like maybe 15, 20 minutes left. But yeah, yeah, you're in the last. Yeah, yeah, on the last leg of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I gotta finish it, but I was enjoying it. I, although at the beginning I was like. Ooh, fuck! It sounds like it doesn't sound like his routine. Or it doesn't yeah, sound it like no, no. Uh, certain parts where he's uh, I'm like ah, because he even says oh, your motherfucker's not laughing. Oh, you're gonna laugh, you no, know? You're or fucking, you're gonna, he, oh, it's gonna get. It's, it goes if if it's fucking, it's gonna get much worse. He yeah, says. it's gonna get much worse. And I'm all <laughs> like, oh shit, this is. I'm all like. He has a way, but I'm like this. But he, he did in that on the, the last few Tamil way where he yeah, said some this is a crazy little, shit in the beginning. For me at the beginning, I'm set like, the tone. Uh, okay, it's let's see what's going on. I'm starting to get triggered. Is no, what's no, no, no. I, I didn't get triggered. <laughs> yeah, at no, that he one. definitely gets triggered. I, I did and, not get triggered. And the at other once. ones, he did something similar where he, oh. in the beginning, he, he kind of sets the tone, but he says some, some crazy shit to kind of like let you know, yeah. hey, bro, be ready, way, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. think Netflix is going to cancel him, though. Uh, no, I but I think no, his contract right. is up. No. But they, I don't think they're going to cancel him. Like, of money, Nef bro. Netflix, I don't... I mean, based on what they've done before, like, they, they don't... That's not how they work, right? They, they, they're they not don't really... They don't get intimidated. They, like, unless you're like... Um, there was this... There was this documentary called Icarus. I don't know if you guys oh, yeah, seen yeah. it. Oh, I didn't get to see it. Well, it, it's kind of crazy, but the, the director, he, he did another movie... That was shitting on the on the Saudis. Uh, I forget the context of the oh yeah 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 of the you, you heard about it yeah we I think we talked about that shit. And so yeah. Netflix didn't want to take it because Saudi money is in a lot. You know you, people, lot people say like fucking oh uh, Bezos and Musk they're the richest person. They're not the richest. They're on paper on paper <laughs> exactly. So there's these these China fucking has a lot of fucking influence well, well, in, like in media. Well, like they say, fucking Putin's probably way the fuck up there too, but it's not yeah, on paper. Yeah, that's true. Eh? So Netflix didn't want to fuck with it because I mean they got Saudi money in the in the, in the fucking uh, platform. La cartera, so I don't know how 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 much of that like them offending. No, because ev everyone he, he's put out so far on Netflix, they fucking they try to cancel him. Wait. Then it's just more publicity. Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People just want to see it more. Wait. He know he knows exactly what he's fucking. Oh no, doing, he's, a fucking he's fucking about the way. Not a pendejo. <laughs> he's fucking smart dude. Man. I like him though. I do. Yeah. No. He's a he's a yeah, he's so a national treasure, man. <laughs> More Chappelle No Pero bueno Ya estamos a, al horario, ¿no? Uh, yeah I think quiet. we made up for fucking last My, my last week's uh, fucking Tobacco no, Right away You're fucking I didn't know we still tobacco. had a I didn't know we still had a podcast, bro Yeah For real, way. Raza Fucking It's uh, It's October Fucking Ya viene el Jalam el Winnie 
fuck? If, if we were in our early 20s, we would be planning Oktoberfest right now. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we would have been going to Oktoberfest right now after this. Ya yeah, estamos en October. Yeah. Right? We're like, hey, let's go fucking. Yeah. No, what? Well, they, they shut down now, right? The, I think. No, I saw the signs. That yeah, they're, they're back. Well, up. They're back. They, they shut down last year. Oh, no, no. I thought they closed down like that whole, the whole little no. village. Or oh, shit. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But I haven't been down that area in a while. But Raza. It's gotcha, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it during the thing. Might as well bring it up now. Yeah. We're in October. Thank you. For listening, thank you for staying with us. We apologize for last week's uh, lack of episode, but life happens. So, but does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> All right. So, but thank you for still us, listening man. to us, and thank you for still rocking with us, or still messing with us, or fucking talking shit. Uh, don't forget, yo, Istasa. We got a we got a pre-orders for the Buenas Noches half calf. You know, make sure you go on it. It's a it's it's a limited item. No, it's not. Well. I think we gotta we gotta have a fucking team meeting after this way. Oh, okay. Because you keep throwing out bad information, bro. Well, what what, what word information am I throwing back? What is it? What do we got? I it, I, it, I, I, I one by the time this comes out, the pre-orders are done. Okay. So this comes out yeah Tuesday. The pre-orders are probably gonna be done by Tuesday. I think they end on. Uh, I think they ended. If you're hearing this fucking yesterday. So hopefully then, you put in your order. Hopefully you put in your order, and then they'll, they'll come back maybe the by the weekend. I hope when once we catch up with the pre-orders, and then the fucking uh, what did you say that you can fucking? Didn't you say you can peel off the? Or you could cut off or peel off the the artwork yeah. and frame it. I think you said yeah, you can peel off the thing. You can't peel off the label. No, where you're actually, gonna rip it. Uh, uh, the artist Wendelina, she oh. put a post up on that. Oh, okay, well, okay, so that wasn't you, but yeah. So there's something else I can't remember right now. Ah, we'll have a team meeting later, bro. Yeah, so don't forget, ya viene el frío, ya viene el, you know, like little cobija or so fucking San Marcos weather. Pinche cafecito que hay bien chingón, so fucking put it, place your orders. Patreon, thank you for your support. Everybody out there, you know, still fucking sending us money. Un chingo de gracias, agradece. Uh, people going and buying merch, go to chicanoshuffle.com. Get Chicano. Your little, Chicano. Oh, chicanoshuffle.com. Get your sweater, oh, get your shirt, get your mug. Get your baby onesies, lo que quiera, nice está. Go check it out. De ahí en fuera, um, chingo de gracias to everybody that, that's been engaging with us, okay? Estevez, you got anything? No, nah, bro, I'm good. Ferns, anything? No, uh, new, no new anything? No, no, I don't think so. Besides the coffee, okay. get yourself some coffee, Rosa. Alrighty. So, un chingo de gracias. Be safe out there. And don't forget, we're going to start prepping. Now. I'm going to start prepping up or start prepping up uh, for the Tejalo. Oh, no, no Tejalo. Ay, wey. Jala Melwini. Ay, wey. <laughs> Fuck. After Dude, he got first, tea bagged in the beginning, way, you got to bring it back. Like the fucking soggy huevos in my face and all this. No, my man, man. This is how I always imagined it. Is. <laughs> I've been hanging out with too much of one of the twins, man. Fuck. <laughs> what a dick. I know. Bueno, pues, Raza, un chingo de gracias, and a ratos with that, eh?